Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, today our topic is kind of um, maybe difficult for some people, especially if you are following the cult of Muhammad. But it's very easy to understand. Every one of us have his own logic. Life is based on logic. The way we live, the way we act, the way we talk, each one of us, he have his own way, which is his own logic of explaining himself, uh, communicating, uh, making decisions. Um, everything you do in life is based in your own logic. In the case of Islam, a Muslim, he is not allowed to have his own logic. Which means, reasoning is not allowed in Islam. The only reason you can follow is the reason of Muhammad. The only logic you can follow is the logic of Muhammad. The only food you can eat is the food of Muhammad. Anything you do in your life, you have no right to choose. You are just a slave of a man. His name is Muhammad. And because of that act of slavery, or let us say the pact of slavery, the second and the moment you convert to Islam, a Muslim, he says to you, I am submitting. The fact the word Islam does not mean submit. It means surrender. But let us go with the word submitting. You submit to what? To the logic of Muhammad. You are not allowed to think. You are not allowed to make decisions. You are not allowed to be even a human as God he made you. You are allowed only to be as Muhammad wanted you to be. And today we will show the Muslims why I believe that not even one of them is a Muslim. And I challenge any Muslim to tell me, you are wrong. In the front of us, in the screen, we have a very authentic hadith. And it appears in many places. It is sahih. It is correct. And Muslim scholars, they use it in every article they make or any book they ever had he who copy any people he is one of them what people are talking about the kuffar and copy in which way anything have to do your action your life as an example if you dress like the Western you are a Western if you eat if you sing if you do it's anything you do as long as you are copying some other groups, they are not Muslims, you are one of them. How many Muslims today, they are not copying other nations? How many Muslim is not addressing like Western? How many Muslim she is not buying the Western perfume? And buying the Western lingerie. Actually, according to studies, number one customers in the world for Victoria's Secret is in Emirat and Saudi Arabia. The Muslim women don't use have uh, an underwear. They never wear an underwear. So anything you do, you are copying someone else. He is not a Muslim. That make you one of those people. And that goes for everything. And we are talking just about city stuff. Like if you are a Muslim and you pay tax, that is horrible. That means you are one of them. If you live in America and you pay tax to America, if you live in France, if you live in England, and you pay tax to those countries, you are one of them. 
So who is a Muslim today? Nobody. I'm just using the logic of Muhammad, not my logic. So don't judge me. Judge your prophet. Even Muhammad once, he saw a very famous man. His name is Umar ibn al-As. Actually, his real name is not Umar ibn al-As. It is, the translation is the Umar, the son of the pimp. But later they changed his name to make it al-As. The prophet, P-B-U-H, F-M-G, S-A-W, short wave, F-M, so, me dressed in two saffron colored garment. What is the problem with this uh, garment? Nothing. They just have some color in it. He asked, "Your mother, she commanded you to wear this." I asked him, "Shall I wash it? Wash them out?" He replied, "You better set them on to fire. These are garment of the disbelievers, so don't wear them." Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? If you wear a garment of the disbelievers, you have to burn it. How many Muslims are burning that garment today? Did you see this Muslim as she became a congresswoman? She is wearing the garment of the disbelievers. According to Muhammad, she is a bad person am I the one saying that no it's your prophet now what is the logic any Muslim can tell me why this guy he have to burn just because there's a color in the garment there's no drawing there's nothing what is the problem why he have to set it in fire and why he cannot wear the garment of the disbelievers Do we have any Muslim? Hey, by the way, uh, we fixed the issue with the with the Skype. So if a Muslim want to call me in Skype, he can call me. But you need to give me your, your name. I will add you and I will call you. All right. If you are a Muslim and you are really brave, which is unique, give me your name in Skype, we will call you. Any Muslim? Here you notice the hypocrisy of every Muslim who live Islam and they claim that they are Muslims. Like this guy, what his name? Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he was wearing a suit when he was debating with David Wood. What is the other guy's name? Samsi. 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 Samshi. What about the nurse of Mimi Hijab? Ali Dawa. All of them, they are not wearing Islamic clothes. According to the Prophet, they are bad people. They are not Muslims. They are actually one of them, which means they are one of the kuffar. So look how, how, how the hypocrisy of the Muslims, they claim to be Muslims, they grow a beard, but yet they don't want from Islam anything make them, you know, uh, feel uncomfortable. So they, they fabricate their own version of Islam. Right? They are wearing suit, they are wearing a tie, they are driving the kuffar cars, they are watching the kuffar TV, they are using the computer of the kuffar. All of this, you cannot, you are copying them. The Quran spoke about the skills a Muslim should learn. What is the skills? Or even the hadith. Let us see the hadith first. We cannot find the hadith in this website. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the Quran. There's a hadith where Muhammad he says, Teach your sons swimming and riding horses and shooting arrows. But we will show you that from the Quran, even though we could not find it from the hadith in translation. Let us see what the Quran says. 
<clears throat> Muhammad, he uh, uh, he told his uh, followers that you have to prepare yourself. And this is a message for the Muslims today. This is the only skills Muslims they should have. And made ready against them all kind of power, including study of war. And look here, look at the Muslim translation. <laughs> Tanks, planes, missiles, artillery. The Quran says that. The Quran says prepare for them. Those let us change the translation and don't, try not to laugh with me actually you know what i'm going to open the same I'm, I'm going to open it in different browser okay hold on <coughs> you know islamic translation is a is a comedy is a is a comedy by itself okay I, i'm going to put the translation of two translation next to each other I, i'm just i'm going to change the translation this is Hilali Khan. Let us go to the front translation. Okay, let us go to Biktal. Hmm. Look at this. Do you see what Allah He said? Horses. The horses and the other translation it became tanks and missiles and cannons do you see what the horses is do you see uh, do you see about uh, the miraculous change horses became tanks missiles planes so the Muslims even if they want to go in war they should not follow anyone else. Like Muhammad didn't didn't he say don't copy the kuffar? Well, that's mean you should not copy them in any way. You should not use their guns, you should not do use their weapon, you should not do their missiles. All the, the weapons of the Muslims are bought from the kuffar. Turkey made guns. And the beautiful thing about those guns if you shoot more than three bullets after each other the gun explodes in your face same as Egypt they made guns so a Muslim he cannot copy anyone he is not a Muslim so how Muslims lives and now here let us uh, let us question the logic what is the problem if somebody like this guy he wear a shirt have colors on it what is the problem let us say this is how the kuffar the non-muslims they dress what is the problem exactly who is going to be upset Allah the angels who why any Muslim can tell us why Allah will be upset from you if you dress like somebody else any Muhammadan and that will take us to other logic that the, in Islam you are not allowed to have any logic you see if you go in the Quran chapter 5 verse 101 it says ask not no questions okay the logic if not to ask questions what is the logic verse after 101 explain why because if you ask you will leave Islam Have you ever heard of such a religion? What is the logic of saying ask no questions? Imagine I go to a, to learn. I go to a prophet and he is my teacher and I ask the teacher, can I ask you a question? The, the teacher says to me, in our school, our logic is the following. Ask no questions. Sure. 
So we are talking about the religion believe in the logic of us no questions Because if you ask questions, especially the one who troubling That will lead you into Disbelief And I will give you an example of Muhammad how he answer questions Let us see <clears throat> Chapter 2, verse 189. And here, look at this stupid translation. I mean, the Muslim translation is really making me feel I want to vomit. It says here, they are asking you about the new moon. It doesn't say the new moon. What the new moon? It says Al-Ahillah. Al-Ahillah is the crescent moon. Okay. So they are asking Muhammad, the Arab, okay, how? what happened to the moon? Why the moon changed and became crescent moon? Muhammad, after squeezing his head and his ears and 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 comping his uh, his beard like uh, Mimi Hijab in the stage with David Wood, he come with an answer. The answer is coming from Allah. He said to them, "Oh, you are asking about why the moon became like this? Those are for timing, brother. What? What? This is the purpose of the the crescent moon. They are asking him." What is what is the reason for the moon to become a crescent moon? You say to them because it is the way to know when you do Hajj. <laughs> this is this is the purpose of the moon. <laughs> what is the answer? They are asking you why the moon why it is like the, the, uh, a week ago it was full two weeks after it became like this so what happened so the arab they are trying to learn from muhammad who have supposedly special connection with his god and his god will give him an answer which nobody knows and the answer is uh, this is for uh, for timing brother this is the purpose of the question and this is the answer they are not us this is something they knew they already they use the 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 the, the those uh, moon movement as a as a timing the beginning of the month the end of the month they already do that and they are practicing Hajj before Islam so they are asking you about the crescent moon so what is the crescent moon why it is crescent Here we notice always how Muhammad he go in a start in a cycle of not to answer. The best answer is don't answer. I'm asking you why the why the moon became like this. You tell me the moon like this for the timing. This is not the reason. The timing is something we created. We as a human, we look around us in this uh, in this universe to see, okay, what we can use for timing. So we say sunset, sunrise. But in fact, there's no sunset and there's no sunrise. Same as for the moon. But this is not the question. The question, why the moon change and become a crescent moon? And look at the funny translation. We change translation. They say the new moon, the new moon. If there's a new moon, since when there's a new moon? Is that a new one? No. Do we have any Muslim would like to go? The same thing, if we take the word yes alunaka, yes alunaka, which means they ask thee. If we take this and we paste in the translation in the in the search engine, you will see Muhammad always his logic is. To answer a question is not to answer. Chapter 2, verse 108. Are you going to ask the prophet a question? The same as you ask Musa? What, what, what? Look at this guy. Address. What address you? I mean, those people are really, the translators, they are going to give me a heart attack. 
What address? Address what? Where is this guy? Let us see. Yusuf Ali. Maybe Yusuf Ali is smarter than them. Would ye question your messenger as Mu says? Why they cannot question him? He is a messenger. If my teacher is the last one I question, and here by the way, it doesn't say even question. It says, Would you ask the messenger as you ask Moses? Which means ask him a question, yeah, but not to question. Uh, right away, he accused them by asking the question they are kuffar. The second you ask Muhammad a question, you are a kafir. You cannot ask questions. Uh, right away, he says, Oh, you see, the people of the book, they wish that you are not going to have any good for you. So Muhammad, he is saying to the Muslims, if the Christians and the Jews, they start questioning the stupidity of Islam, this is because they hate you. Don't let them ask you questions, brother. Don't, brother. Are you going to ask the person of Allah, brother? And right away, it's so, it's so clear that the questions was coming the source of it, it was coming from the Christians and the Jews, and Muhammad have no answer. So the second you ask Muhammad, he says to them, Oh, are you going to ask the same as they asked Musa? So what? They asked Musa, and Musa answered them. Musa he did not open his eyes in the in the in his diaper and he found himself a prophet. For sure, they asked him a question. For sure, it took them time to believe he's a, he's a messenger of God. For sure, they, you know, there's a process to go through. People will not believe anyone come to them and says, I'm a prophet. So this is the logic of Muhammad. And then the logic of Muhammad is the following. Don't you know that Allah to Allah belong all the dominion? No, we do not know. Like, did we see that? The Quran is full of those phrases. Don't you see? Don't you see? No, we did not see. Don't you know? No, we do not know. I mean, how you know yourself? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? When you say to me, "Don't you know?" That's mean I know. But how we know that to Allah belong to the dominion of the earth and the heaven? How we know that? What is the confirmation? Huh? How we die? How we die, as an example, the logic. When you die, the angels, they hit you in your face. And he says to you, don't you see? I look at the translation here. And if you could see when the angels take away soul from the disbeliever, they submit their faces on their backs. If you see, what about you show us? And what do you mean they beat them in their faces and in their in their back? So now that you are dying and the angels they are spanking you, and you are saying to me, if you see, they are spanking your face, but you are a soul. They took your soul. They are spanking what? The soul? The soul have a face and have an ass. You are spanking what exactly? This is the logic of Muhammad. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Other logic. 
in the day of judgment Allah will make our faces black why why in the day of judgment all of us we don't believe in Allah Allah will make us black And by the way, I have no problem to be a black. Actually, I wish. At least I will find someone to marry me. Hmm? All of us, because we don't believe in Allah, Allah will make us a black. Why? Why? Are you saying to me that the white people are good people and the black people are the evil one? This is what it says. This is what the Quran is teaching. Anyone who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make him black. And then he will throw him in the hellfire. What is the logic? Anyone? Who is a Muslim have a logic? Let us see this comment from Muhammad. Muhammad is an ex-Muslim, as I know. I think he left Islam, right? From Muhammad, I saw your comment saying you left Islam because you watch my videos. I remember. Muhammad said, "Most Indonesian Muslims said you are a Dajjal. Dajjal mean uh, like uh, you know, like the false Messiah, the the, the liar. The liar. They said Saudi uh, future prince will make the end uh, of the world." real for Muslims so they think I am a Saudi prince oh, okay well they can think whatever they want still they can't answer me they can call me all the names they want but they cannot answer me why instead of saying he is the jail he well, get him busted call him call him and show everybody that this guy is a liar everything I say I show it in the screen guys is that does it say in the Quran is, is this is the Muslim website is it the Muslim translation who is the Dajjal? Who is the liar? Here we go. This is the Muslim translation. Hilali and Khan. I have nothing to do with it. I am not even showing my own translation. So, who is the one when I answer us? Why Allah in the judgment day will make us all as a black because we don't believe in him. What's wrong with being black? What is the problem? I like to be Indian too, not only black. They have a very spicy, nice food. And Indian people, they are very nice people. What's the problem? What's the problem of Allah and color? If you remember, Muhammad, he said before in the Hadith that Allah, he created according to him, which is shown as the racism of this cult, ugly racism. That black people are created since the beginning. To go to hellfire. Right? Do you remember the hadith where it says that Allah, he created Adam and then he hit from his right shoulder, he hit his right shoulder and he created the left, the, the, the white people from uh, his left shoulder. The, the, the white people from the right shoulder, the left, the, the black people from the left shoulder, and then he says to the white people, You go to heaven, and he said to the black people, You go to hell. That is the logic of Muhammad. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? 
What is the logic? Any Muslim in the bushes would like to say something? Anyone? And by the way, I'm trying to open the website which says the hadith in English and look the Muslims They deleted that hadith since we are using it to expose Islam But I think we have a snapshot you can take a snapshot from the videos previous videos Anyone? Nobody? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Who is a Muslim? He can give me his... We can call you in Skype, no problem. Anyone? The Muslims, they keep quoting for us uh, supposedly a story where Muhammad, and they call it the last sermon. But the funny, you know, the Muslim, they will not tell you where the last sermon is coming from. Is the last sermon is an authentic hadith? Is it even exist? Any Muslim? See, I'm giving them a chance to call us. Let us continue then. Obviously, uh, they have no answers. This is a disgusting logic that all and not only here i mean there is many other verses in the quran speaking about allah will make people white and black as an example with a sweat do you what the do would you allah in the quran in chapter 82 chapter 27 verse number 82 the chapter is speaking about a jassasa he mentioned clearly that allah is going to make all muslims uh, white and all non-Muslims black and the same we find in chapter 3 verse 106 on the day when some faces it doesn't say some by the way when faces will be whitened will be white and faces will be black so this is repeated all over the Quran And those who Allah He made their faces white, Allah will have the mercy on them. But those who Allah made their faces black, they will be terrified and they will be humiliated.
any Muslim have something to say? Anyone? Let me open my Skype just to let you know we are going to use Skype because we solved the problem with Skype. Give me a second. Let us see if there is any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge to call us and to answer. Okay, we are almost in Skype. I know it's taking long to log in. All right, we are in Skype. Who is the Muslim want to give me his ID and I will call him? Anyone? Be nice to Muslims, guys. Those people are victims and they need our help. They have no idea. Most of them, they have nothing to do with Islam. Actually. They are Muslims by name. They are born from a Muslim family. All what they know about Allah is Allah, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. And nothing more. They have no idea what is Islam. You ask, you ask a Muslim, what is Allah? They don't know. They will say to you, is the creator. I did not ask you what he do for a living. Who is Allah? What, what the word Allah mean? They do not know. They pray to their God in a language they don't speak. And even those who speak Arabic, they don't understand the Quran. You know, when Muhammad in the in the time, in his time, he said to the Arab, the Arab, not the Pakistani who have no idea what he's talking about. Why you cannot understand the Quran? Question Muslims, why the Arab could not understand the Quran? And do you understand the Quran? Do you Muslim today understand the Quran? You don't. Now we can prove that in two seconds. Not a single one of you here understand what this book is about. Another logic in the Quran, which I find that the only logic can be accepted is this verse. If this book is not from supposedly uh, not from Allah, the, the God they worship, the Arab, it, you know, you will find a lot of uh, contradictions in it. That is the only logic can be acceptable. But this logic does not stand for itself. This logic, in the same page actually, I can destroy this logic. Showing you that this logic shown us that Islam is a stupid cult. Look, go two verses before, you will see. Who who obey the messenger of Allah, obey Allah. How you can obey Allah by obeying a man who is a sinner? The Quran confirmed that Muhammad, he have a lot of sin. And then you say the one who obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. What about the one who obey Allah, he obey Muhammad? Because supposedly Muhammad should be obeying Allah anyway. But to say the one who obey Muhammad, he obey Allah, that's mean that Muhammad is higher than Allah and the obedience of Muhammad is to follow by obedience of Allah. And him, Allah himself have to obey Muhammad too. How we can say that the one, the, 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 the good person who want to go to heaven is the one who obeyed the Prophet are you claiming that Muhammad is a person who is God which means he's a perfect he have no sin 
Muslims, do you claim that Muhammad is a perfect man and he had no sin, which will make him God? <clears throat> is Muhammad is a son of Adam and he's a sinner like us, or he is God? <clears throat> What kind of logic this logic is but the logic here is simple Muhammad he is Allah Allah is just a puppet Muhammad he use him for his propaganda Muhammad he got horny he make verses says any woman she want to give her pen to the Prophet that is the logic obey the obey the Prophet Muhammad he made verses says the best of the booty for the Prophet that is the logic obey the Prophet Muhammad he says the fifth from every attack go to the pocket of the Prophet that is the logic right do we have any Muslim want to say something to us hey, no name give me your name in Skype I will call you don't tell me I cannot call him you can call me give me your name in Skype post it I will call you don't make a drama it's very simple give me your name I will call you A Muslim will speak about calling me for the coming 10 hours, but he will never call. Just give me your name and I will call you. And then after he speak for 10 hours about calling me, he will go and he speak to his four wives and he will tell them, see, Christian Prince, I wanted to call him, but the coward, he did not take my call. What is my point? This Muslim is asking me what's my point. He is listening to me for the last... 30 minutes and now he's asking what the point that is the point that you are not listening Because if you are listening you will not ask him not asking what's the point. I just made my point how you it says to you obey Muhammad Muhammad himself is a sinner. You should not obey Muhammad. You should obey what Allah says to Muhammad not Muhammad The verse is so clear the one who obey Muhammad he obey Allah What about we say the one who obey Allah is the one who will be saved? If Muhammad doing the will of Allah anyway, why we have to put the name of the Prophet, the name of a man before the name of a God? Obedience of the man before the obedience of God? And then you will ask me again, oh, what's your point? Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad is a big time sinner? Did he or he did not? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muslim? The Quran says Muhammad is a big time sinner. And the sin was breaking the back of Muhammad. And this is why Muhammad, he is the only messenger Allah he needed to do for him a plastic surgery. He cut his chest to remove the burden. Have you ever heard of a surgery to remove burden by washing it by water? Have you ever heard of a burden is in the stomach of a person? Why his burden was he stole a McDonald's sandwich? What do you mean remove his burden by making a surgery for him? What is the logic again? What is the logic? A man he became a prophet and now we need to remove his burden so what we do we send an angel and the angel he break bring with him a big knife and he open wide the chest of the prophet from his throat all down to his belly and he take off all the material inside his stomach and his chest 
and he washed it with the water of Zamzam. What is the logic? Who wanna tell me? Anyone? CP, show yourself. What about you say to Allah, show yourself? Me and Allah, we are from the same kind. We cannot speak unless we are from behind the curtain. Isn't it Allah? He said in the Quran, Allah he never speak unless he is from behind the curtain. Hijab. Do you want to show you the verse? Why you don't say to your God? The one you worship, you don't ask him, show yourself. Any Muslim have an answer? What is the logic to send an angel? His name is Jibreel with two assistants. They carry the prophet. They open his chest all the way down to his testicles and they take all the things inside and they wash it in the water of Zamzam and then they put it back. What is the logic? Any Muslim? I mean, why it's so hard to tell me what is the logic? What, what What is the purpose of this? I'm doing this for money? Uh, you can say, this is your logic, no problem. But I can show you that you're a prophet. He do everything for his penis and his money. Here we go. Let me show you. This is your prophet saying you cannot meet with him unless you pay him first. Me, you can. You are here for free. Are you paying me? Do you pay me to come here? No, it's for free. I give it from my own time and nobody forced me. And nobody here, no one here pay money to, to hear my, my voice. Everybody, including you. You are a liar like your prophet. Huh. This is the Quran. Oh, who you believe. If you want to consult with the prophet in private, spend something. Do you see it? Do you see it? What is the logic? Why you have to spend something in order to see the Prophet? I will tell you why. The logic of Muhammad, if you pay him, he will pray in your behalf. Huh? Is that right? Have you ever heard of a Prophet? If you pay him, he will pray in your behalf? Chapter 58, verse number 12. Guys, have you ever heard the Christian prince saying, if you give me money, I will pray in your behalf and you will be forgiven? Never. I am no prophet. I cannot forgive no one. I cannot help anyone. And me, myself, I'm a sinner. You're a prophet to claim, if you pay him, he will pray in your behalf. Let us show you another verse. <clears throat> Muhammad, he need the mortgage. He need your money. If you give Muhammad the mortgage, what he need, Allah will forgive your sin. Read carefully. If you lend Allah, if you lend Allah a goodly loan, he will double it for you and he will forgive you and Allah is almost appreciated of your reward and forbearing what is that what is that this is God are you there this is God since when you can bribe God if you give him a mortgage he will forgive you okay how much Allah how much you want you forgive me okay how much you want Are you there, the guy who's talking about money? What is the logic? Why, if we give money, Allah forgive us? Why? Tell me, how? what is the logic? So if somebody is a filthy rich, he gave Muhammad some money, he's forgiven, that's it? That is the logic? 
if you're rich you go to heaven if you are poor you die because the one who can give a mortgage to Allah is the rich one same time what kind of Allah this Allah he need but only give Allah give me more this Allah if you give more to Allah Allah will give you they think about the mortgage and you know do what they do I have too much money this is the same verse Muhammad hijab after he finished his uh, his debate with David Wood two hours after he posted a video saying the same verse and no will lend Allah a goodly loan spend for Allah cause because asking people to give them money go and watch the video no my friend I am not funny the most funny person is Allah what about Allah what is the logic here okay hold on hold on I'm going with you you tell me what is the logic of this verse hmm Today our topic about logic. What is the logic of this verse in the Quran? Read carefully with me, Muslims. <coughs> there is no restriction in the blind, no restriction in any one, the lame, no restriction on the sick, nor on yourself. If you eat in your houses, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the logic? This is God. He went to his bedroom. He spent he spent ten million years in his galaxy private room to write for us such such a magnificent verse, saying, "If you are a blind, you can eat at home, and if you are a person who cannot walk straight, you can eat at home." And if you are not any of those, which means the blind or the lame, you can eat at home. So what's the point? We eat at home already. A human being, since he was created, he eat at home. Where he eat? In the restaurant? Where Adam used to eat? He used to eat in the restaurant? In a Starbucks? What is the logic? Don't you think this verse is too late? So after a thousand of years of Adam, we come to me and says to me, there's no problem if you eat in your houses. If you are blind, you can eat at home. And if you are a lame, you cannot eat, you can eat at home. And if you are not any of them, which make it more horrible, I mean, okay. I thought there is like some special case. No, no, no. And then the story continue. Or the houses of your father. Like, what the heck? I was eating in the house of my father all my life. Or the houses of your mother what Allah he gave me a license to eat in the house of my mother that's wonderful I'm really surprised can you tell me what the logic and then he continued the houses of your brothers the houses of your sister the houses of your father brother the houses of your <laughs> father sister the houses of your mother brothers the houses of your mother <laughs> that's god's talking What do you think? Anyone? Hmm? And then at the end he says, don't forget that. And there is no sin. A brother there is no sin whether you eat together or you eat apart -la 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 -la. discover each other now finally we discover that there is no sin if we eat alone or we eat apart Anyone? What is this? What is the logic from this verse? What is the logic if I believe in Allah will give me a lot of women for sex? What is the logic? 
Well, what is that? And those women, they are virgin. Each time I sleep with them, they turn virgin again. What is the logic? I mean, isn't it this is cheating? I just slept with her. So what the point of closing that skin down in her private part? What is the logic? Is that going to make me feel that she is a virgin again? She is not. I just slept with her. What is the logic? Stupid. What is the logic that your God Allah will make your private part endless? You live in New York and your private part in the Amazon jungles and those uh, 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 crazy fish, they will bite your penis? What is the logic? Why I, want, why I need to have an endless uh, private part? Like what about if it is like six foot? Not fine? Well, okay, uh, 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 okay, one one mile. What is the logic of this cult? There's no logic. It's a stupid cult. Everything there is a stupid. And this is why you Muslims, you have nothing to say. You can call me names, no problem. You can threat me, no problem. But you don't have a logic, even for what you do. What is the logic if I die for Muhammad, I will go to heaven and Allah will give me extra women because I died killing people. But this God, he enjoys shedding blood and seeing people being killed. What is the logic? <clears throat> Anyone? Your name, okay, let me call you, my friend. You are a Muslim and you call yourself Robert? What kind of a Muslim you are? All right. Hold on, let us fix our microphone first. <coughs> All right. Mr. Mickey Mouse. I just called you out and answering. Why not? You hang up. Hello. Yes. Uh, so uh, I'm not a Muslim for in the first place. So why you wanna why you want me to call you then? Uh, I just have a bit confusion about the Quran and the beliefs of it. Okay. So uh, I was a I was a Christian. So I was a Christian, and uh, uh, I was uh, just checking for what is the truth in between the religions because I had a bit confusions about. The Trinity. Hmm. So what? I was just checking. Why you have confusion about the Trinity? What is the problem with the Trinity? Uh, uh no, I, I have cleared it. Okay. So I don't have a confusion about Trinity now. Okay. So are you Christian now or not? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm okay. just figuring it out. So what are you now? So can I ask you a doubt? So yeah, before I'm you tell me what uh, what you want to ask me, what are you now? What is your religion? I'm just right in between Islam and Christianity. I'm just trying what, to figure out the complete what truth is that so I can go back. Mm, okay, so what do you want? Oh, go ahead. So the thing is, uh, if someone from the Islamic community came to me and asked, uh, you have so the basic arguments they gave every time is uh, Trinity is not uh, a god; it is three gods, and okay. or um, it is God died. How did God die? They are the basic arguments they always make. So my question they is: say to you how God, out, They say to you how God died. No, how did God die? How can God die? Okay, but this is the same logic will prove Islam to be a, a false cult, because if Jesus will not be God for he did not die for he for he died in Islam Jesus did not die, until now he's alive. That means Jesus in Islam should be God. Yes, so if 
if someone came to me and asked me uh, is trinity god how can i prove how can i prove to them that okay trinity but are you uh, did, did, God, did, did i answer god. you about the first one about what how jesus how god how god die did i ask and answer you they say yes how uh, jesus die yes, I have, and he is god uh, okay well according to this if the logic is that if the death of jesus will not make him god he cannot cannot be qualified for being god that's mean jesus cannot be a human too like anyone because until now he's alive and he is living in yes. heaven in islam yes i have okay uh, so this is a stupid argument this is a stupid I argument have asked you a previous hmm. debate so i know that okay secondly no, let, us, let, us, let us answer no clear. let us answer this one first because we are not done secondly if god if god the muslim they speak about him uh, uh yes. he cannot die they are talking about what god would die we don't believe that god he die or what we believe that the flesh of jesus die as a human being otherwise god never die so yes. even us as a human we have a spirit we have a soul and we have a body is that correct yes okay the body dead but the spirit is not dead so okay. if that happened to the human, what about God who is a spirit? Our God in, in, in Christianity is a spirit. The God of Islam is not spirit. So you cannot kill God for very simple reason. Number one, he is a spirit. They kill the body, which is the physical body of Jesus. But our God is always living God. This is why we call it resurrection. What is a res resurrection? Resurrection is reuniting between the flesh and the spirit. Correct. Yes. Reuniting two things. So resurrection is when we say Jesus die, we're talking about they crucify the flesh of Jesus. That would die, but God is always living God. Number two. Number three. Yes. Uh, uh, when we speak about Jesus, the Muslim they confirm that Jesus is the Word of God. Do the Word of God die? Can you kill the Word of God? And can anyone destroy the Word of God? Even the Quran says no. If you ask a Muslim is the word of God created they will say no if Jesus in the Quran Confirming that Jesus is the word of God and this is exactly what is written in the book of John verse number chapter 1 verse number 1 In the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the was the God so yes. the Messiah is The word of God and he is the spirit of God and he is a messenger of God according to the Quran three in one how the Muslim they say that we are against the Trinity in the same verse it says there's no Trinity but the Quran give us different form of a Trinity it says Jesus is a word Jesus is a man and Jesus is a spirit proceeding from Allah so Jesus is a three in one in the same time so how okay. one cannot be three yet Jesus is a three and one in the same time here we notice the hypocrisy and the ignorance of the Muslims. It is written in their books, and I'm showing it in the screen. Can you see, see my screen? Can yes. you see my Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Read with me carefully in the screen. What the screen is saying? All people of the book commit the no excuse in your religion, nor says aught but the truth. Christ Jesus. They are talking about who? The The name is confirmed. That is a Christ. The Son of Mary is. Between two brackets, no more than this is not exist in the Quran. A messenger. Okay, so he's a man. And then he is the word. Okay. He's a word. And then this word <laughs> sent down from heaven. So where is Jesus coming from? He's coming from best wood. Best wood in Mary, which means it's coming down from heaven. And okay. the spirit proceeding from him. From who? From from God. So look who is Jesus. Jesus is the man. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the spirit of three in one. And that is there in their ignorant Quran. So if the Quran confirmed that the three is one and one is a three, how Abdul he says to me that the Trinity is not is impossible. Okay. Trinity is God, but uh, may I ask you something? Sure. Uh, the thing is, uh, in Islam, the the God is neither man nor woman. No, who said no? He's no, 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 who said that to you? The Quran always call Allah in the Arabic language as He, correct? Uh, yes, but I have read it somewhere that uh, in Islam the uh, God is genderless. I hear, I think that's I that's false. Someone. That's false. Because if the Quran, the God of the Quran is genderless, then how they can explain to us other verse where Allah He says, 
if we want to take a partner for sex, a wife, we will take it from ourselves. Mm. So if Allah okay. is genderless, genderless, like He have no gender, then Allah okay, will so, Allah will marry. Who? So, no, no, hold on. So, hold on. Okay. If Allah uh, uh, is it do, does not have a gender, okay, mm. Allah will marry who? Uh, he's God, so why should he marry someone? Yeah, but he will marry who? No, he said it clearly. If you want to take a partner as a wife, uh, this is the Quran, chapter uh, tw twenty-one, verse number seventeen. Does it say, had we intended to take a pastime, e i o i i e, a wife or a son, we would surely take it from ourselves? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay uh. So why it says a wife? Why the Muslims they assume it's a wife? It's not a guy. If Allah have no gender. Okay. Uh, mm. Mm? So they lie to you, mm. my friend. The one who make those articles are a bunch of dummies. Mm -mm. Mm. Because if Allah have no gender, then how the Muslims assume that this partner is a wife? What about saying a gay, a man? Mm. Why they come to the conclusion that it must be a wife? Mm. So you see how easy to defeat their their lies and their propaganda. It's a stupid propaganda, and they have nothing to say, and that's why they didn't dare to call me. Mm. Hmm? So, uh, so may I ask? Uh, I knew uh, I was thinking about this. Uh, this is the current right religion for quite some time. And I checked both religions. So my doubt about the Trinity and about and all the other stuff has been removed, partially or most of it have been removed. I don't okay. understand. I say uh, I repeat again. You are you are your mic is not clear for me. What you said? Uh, my most doubts about the Trinity. Okay. Uh, and uh, Jesus is God. Uh, I truly believe that Jesus is God because. I was a Christian and I did go to church for eight, ten years, or I am twenty-one now. I did go to church until eighteen, so, uh, until I had some doubts about which is the real one because I didn't have a full uh, explanation for why is Trinity the God. Okay, so now what so, is what, what, how we can help you? So the last part is uh, in the Quran. There are many scientific explanations. Or uh, I was watching a video. There are many what? There was many what? Scientific explanations. Of, uh, give me one. Uh, give me the best one. Theory of relativity in chapter what? forty-five. Verse what? 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 Theory of relativity. Theory of what? Relativity. Albert Einstein. Okay. What is? What is that? What chapter is that? Chapter forty-five. Chapter forty-five. Okay. Verse yes. number twenty-four, uh -huh. twenty-five. Uh, I think okay. that's the one. So, do you do, do, do you, uh, uh, are, are you willing to laugh loud if I show you the, how they lie to you? 24 yes. you say 24 25 25 26 25 26 okay yes, where sir. it says what you are saying chapter you said the chapter 20 uh, 45 right uh yes it's 45 25 26 okay where it says what you are saying uh, uh, the theory of what relativity it's about a shadow or where yes, where about the shadow can you please come down can you please come down a bit. What no, I can't see the full twenty-six words. Yeah, this is verse number twenty-five, twenty-six. No, I just. Uh, oh, okay, okay. My friend, but without telling me, let me show show you how we stupid the Quran when the Quran speak about the shadow. You said the shadow. Yes, yes. Okay. Do you know that the Quran claim that Allah is the one who extend the shade? Oh. Uh. Hmm. How he extend the shade? Uh, that's the verse. I think that's the verse. A little by little, something like that. Yeah, what little by little? The, the Quran here is saying, Have not you seen how the Lord spread the shadow? The, in yeah, Arabic it says, the, Little no, by little. Uh, no, the word. Arabic, no, the Arabic says, He extend the shadow. Okay, how Allah he extend the shadow? Is the shadow is something to extend? Can we extend uh, the shadow? Ah uh, yes, uh, because it extends in in the noon in what? 
my friend in the noon, in my the, friend there's in nothing the it's called shadow to extend the shadow the shadow is just a reflection of light there's this is a stupid statement the Quran saying that the shade is something Allah he extended but the fact is not extended mm -mm. What shade is extended? Just as change the uh, change the, the source of the light, and then we have a new sh a new shadow. Correct? Yes. And depend how mm. close, how strong it is, the shade will be different. This is so. This is a stupid statement. Mm. Hmm. As long as you are talking about this, do you know where the sun goes every day? In the muddy pool, something. Okay, muddy so pool. how you how you say to me the Quran have science and the Quran says that the sun set in the murky water? No, I don't believe in that because. So what do you mean no, don't I, believe? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You believe in this, yeah. but you don't believe in that. The Quran is in one book. No, uh, I don't think that's the truth because uh, uh, because the muddy pool thing is completely false. I just want to know if this is right because this is a uh, one of the none books. of their claim is right and it's false. You can read my books. I have two books. Not only exposing the lies about miracles in the Quran, they they giving you a lot more beyond the Muslim ability even to to know about the religion. So all of these things is a lie. And here we go. I, I will give you another opportunity. Give me different different lie they give it to you about science. Choose anything. Uh, what should I choose? Choose any lie they gave you about the science. Something you think is convincing for you. Uh, this is the one no? because uh, uh, because uh, they sometimes say that uh, in the Quran it says uh, the sperm of a man comes from the midrib. I, I think that is completely that, false and that that's what, a what? false statement. No, no, give me, give me something is convincing for you. Don't tell me that something is not convincing for you. Something you okay. think maybe it is possible to be right, to be true. Uh, this one was convincing. The, uh, the previous one I just gave you, it was convincing for me. I mean, me. come on, my friend. Uh, you said you are 21 years old. You are smart. I mean, this is yes. stupid. To say that uh, Allah he extends the, the shade, this is stupid. Uh, Allah did not extend the shade. This is stupid. This is extremely stupid. Okay. Because the shade is not something exists to extend. How we can extend something does not exist? Mm-mm. Uh, so you see I can the, say I can say I extend uh, the length of something but not the shade because the shade is not something to extend does not exist mm -mm. right okay if you okay. have a flashlight if you have a flashlight at night you can make yes. your finger look like it is 100 foot tall correct yes okay but this, does that mean I extended your finger <laughs> That's that's stupid, you know. So what else? Uh, no, nothing, nothing else. Are you sure? Choose anything you yeah. want, just to show you how stupid what they claim about science. Their science is nothing but a fabrication. The uh, I think I heard a lot of debates from Zakir Naik because of Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik is an idiot. He did not know anything about his religion. Uh, yes, uh, he he talked a lot lot about evolution, but I don't think evolution. that's for me because okay, as long as Zakir Naik he spoke about evolution, like what? Do you remember anything he said? No, I don't. I don't think he's convincing. About, he was convincing about evolution because I studied a lot about evolution in class twelfth, and it doesn't seem to. No, actually, actually, the Quran teach about evolution, but in the wrong direction. As an example. The Quran claimed okay. that Allah He made the Jews because they broke the Sabbath, pigs and monkeys. Mm -mm. So Quran teach that Allah He transformed human into animals. Those who believe in the evolution, the atheists, the way they believe in it, they believe in the opposite. That we as a human, we are coming from ancestors who used to be something else, correct? Okay. So here you read the Quran chapter 2 it says that those Jews because they did trans transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath Allah he cursed them and he made them monkeys and pigs mm. Mm. and now uh, ask yourself here about this logic Allah he will make the Jews or he made the Jews already pigs and monkeys for breaking the Sabbath isn't it Allah stupid for not making somebody here a women a pig or a monkey 
I mean, which one is 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 more mm -hmm. harmful? Somebody doing fishing in Saturday. The story here is about a bunch of Jews that did fishing in Saturday. So who who more deserve a harmful punishment? Someone who raped a child, or someone did fishing in Saturday? What do you think? Uh, in the Christian perspective, it is. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not talking about Christian uh -huh. perspective. Forget about Christians, Jews, Hindus. I'm a human being. You are as a human being. If yeah. somebody rape a child, mm. you have two people. They commit a crime. One of them fishing in Saturday, and the other one he rape a child. Which one deserve a severe right. punishment? Okay. Punishment. So he why deserves. Allah? Why Allah did not make one person in this earth who rape a child a pig or a monkey? But yet those who he they, they did fishing in Saturday, he made them pigs and monkeys. I mean, how stupid this story is. Right? Yes. This is a story does not even fit for kids. Even kids who they are six years old, they will not believe it. And until now, Jews, they are fishing in Saturday. So why Allah is not making pigs no more? Hmm. The Jews now, they have even festivals in, in, in Haifa, in, in, in Israel, for gays and lesbians, and they do it in Saturday. Where is Allah? So for fishing in Saturday, Allah made those all the Jews who exist in this island. He made them pigs and monkeys just because they broke the, the, the Sabbath and they fish in Saturday because they are hungry. No, it's a stupid religion. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, because okay, yes. it should be punished. So may I ask you, uh, there are many uh, scientists who praise Quran of it because they say it's intelligent. I, I saw many YouTube videos regarding it. So why do they say that? Quran is what? Uh, it's a masterpiece. They call, they're scientists, they're physicists, they're chemists. And they call friend, it all, of, all of this is fabrication. All of this is fabrication. Nothing there is truthful. Nothing there is truthful. You know, for, like I saw once a conference, they invite somebody, his name is Dr. Moore or something. And they told him the Quran says that Allah, he made the... the uh, the the egg like a leech, but the Quran never spoke about the egg and never spoke about leech, the, the the insect. The Quran claimed that the sperm transform into a congealed blood. So they lie mm. in the translation in that conference, and they make this guy. I don't know if he is honest or not, but be, they gave him a translation which is far away from the translation, and he said this is fit with 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 the with science. But the fact the Quran never said that, and we can open the verse right now, and you will see that the Quran is a stupid book. What is your education about about uh, uh, how how the human being is a, pro a production happened? Do you know? Yes, it happens from the testes, human testes, okay. male testes. All right, look at this here. Mm -hmm. And we made the nutfa, we made the nutfa, nutfa is a sperm, into a clot. Is that what science teach now? So that in, in, the, in that conference, the one I saw in the video, they gave him a false translation. They did not say to him, the nutfa became a clot, which is a congealed blood. Does it say in the front of you from the Muslim translation a congealed blood? It says not far into a clot. Yeah, and then we make it what? And what we make the clot? It piece of the coagulated blood. Okay, but so this, but this is me, talking about but, but, but this is but the not far the not far itself became what became a dead blood. Is that is that scientific? No. And if there is any stage in the human being process. Of production okay. that you will be a, a, a dead blood. <laughs> so what? What is it? Is it not for the human sperm, male sperm? Uh, what? Is it not for referring to the male sperm or human sperm? That this is male. No, this is the male. However, Muhammad okay. he claimed. Oh. Muhammad he claimed in different chapter in the Quran, chapter uh, eighty-six, verse number six and seven, that women. Have a sperm too, and the sperm of the women is coming from the back, uh, from the ribs of the women, and the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. You okay. see it? Mm. Okay. Is that scientific, or this is stupid? No. Mm. Muhammad okay. in the hadith he said that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and the woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Is that scientific? I heard that from a, a bit scientific uh, YouTube channels also. Mm. Is it is that scientific? 
I have never heard about it, but may I heard someone say about it because no, my they friend, say my friend, the gender, true. the gender of the baby have nothing to do, and the look of the baby and the existence of the baby have nothing to do with the women having orgasm at all. Because the woman she have orgasm or she don't have orgasm, she can still deliver a child if she have sex. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. So what does have to do with the, with the? You that's know, this what? is stupid. So Muhammad he claimed that women have a sperm and it's yellow and thick. And man have a sperm. It's white and white and, and thick. Uh, sorry, the woman is uh, uh, yellow and thin, and the man is white and thick. And this is absolutely false because women they don't have a sperm. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter okay, who have orgasm first. The gender is about the the uh, uh, the sperm, the semen. When one semen goes, that semen is already is going to make the decision. The semen itself will do, make the decision what the what the baby will be according to muhammad uh the last thing will be decided by allah is the gender and muhammad he claimed that a human being the sperm of a human being stay inside the woman for 40 or 50 days do you see the screen yes i see okay is that scientific or this is stupid no it says the man's water is chicken i don't see the words you just said Okay, now what do you see? <clears throat> do you no, see? I it don't now? see. It. Oh, okay. It means uh, for forty or fifty days or forty nights. Mm. Is that oh. correct or this is a lie? It's a lie because mm. it's nine months or ten months. Nine months. One lie will make me what? Will make me a liar. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, Muhammad is a liar. Yes, because. Uh, I mean, uh, how many, many how many lies until now I showed you? Isn't it enough to prove that Muhammad is a liar? It's because I have heard in a like in my speeches that if there is one mistake in the Quran, then it's, everything is false because it's from the God itself. My friend, I did not show yes. you one mistake. I make a challenge to all the Muslims who are listening. Every chapter in the Quran itself is a mistake, and this is a challenge for any Muslim is watching who want to call me right now, and you choose the chapter, and I will show you the mistake, and I will make you read it. How is that? Any chapter in the Quran. You have 114 chapters. Name the chapter for me and it challenged me to show you the mistake. Anything you want. Okay. Mm. No. What else, my no, friend? No, I don't have a country. No, I don't have any other country. So what, what now? Do you want to you are still between Christianity and Islam or you made a decision? No, I made the decision that I want to go to church. All right. So you you wanna you wanna you wanna accept Jesus again as your Lord as your Savior? Yes. That's wonderful, my friend. So pray to the Lord to forgive you for for forsaking Him for some time because you were confused, and I'm sure He will forgive you. And pray from your heart from now on, not to let the devil play with your heart, because the devil, my friend, is evil, and he would do everything he can to confuse you. Be solid with the Christ, and don't let the devil get inside you. All right, my friend. Okay, so uh, if I may ask, if I have any doubt, can I call you again? Well, you know, anytime you can call me. But why you have a doubt? Here we go. Give it to me. No, I don't <laughs> have anything. No, no, no. no but my friend, doubt, but... why you want to let the doubt go inside your heart? Why? I mean, already you discover Islam to be stupid and it's a lie. So what is left? Do you have better than Christ to follow? What? You want to follow the Buddha or you want to follow who? No, I don't want to follow. Okay, so so why, why the doubt will come to you unless you are looking for a doubt? Right. Okay. So if you leave the doors open for the doubt to come, okay, all the doubt will come. If I allow the devil always to come to me, he's he's going to be he, he will feel home. He will he will never leave me, right? So it's you who decide really if the doubt will come to you or not. And for sure, you can ask questions, and you know it's not a, it's, Jesus said, read the books, read the books because. The, we are different from Islam. Islam is a religion against reading, against knowledge. The knowledge of a Muslim is about silly stuff like, can I wash under arm? Can I wash my private part? Those questions are allowed. A question about God, about religion is forbidden in Islam. The second you ask a question to question, it's forbidden. The second you ask question to be stupid, like how many times I need to go around the Kaaba? Uh, why the prophet, uh, uh, what the prophet he said after he kissed the black stone? Silly questions. So uh, there's a question to copy, copy paste, and to follow blindly, and there's a question to learn. In Christianity, question to learn is what is important, not the question of stupidity. Like who care how Jesus washes his hands? 
you will never see in the Bible seeing you know silly stuff like Muhammad what uh, they describe how Muhammad he washed his penis I mean why I need to know that how the prophet wife she put a dish between her legs and her private part was a dripping a yellow uh, blood why I need to do to know that so Islam is a is a is a savage cult it's a it's a collection of a savagery and there's a, you know you can tell the quality from the quality of the talk the quality of the skull you see you know them from their fruits from their fruits you know them how you know a person this is what Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names so Muhammad he claimed great names for him to the point he called himself Muhammad which in the praised one that name alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is Antichrist for he is a claiming to be God on earth the praised one should be God not a man that is a name should not be meant to be given to a man how you call yourself the praised one if you are the praised one who is the mr who is a praised to allah correct Lord alone. okay so how how muhammad is the praised one that a name alone is enough to prove that muhammad is a devilish man and he worked for the devil to de deceive us i heard in your previous videos that it says uh, praise for allah and the prophet Sorry again. Say, that, say again. I heard in your previous videos that it says in the Quran that he prays for Allah and the uh, Prophet because that's a false statement. Praise for Allah or some. Uh, uh, listen to the uh, what? Uh, uh, something. Uh, listen to what the Allah and the uh, and you said once that why should we listen to the Prophet? We should only listen to the God. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the prayer, the prayer. Muhammad, he says, uh, he claimed that you pray for me, you pray, and your prayer will be will be play, display in front of me. Uh, the Muslim, they said to him, uh, "Why, how, how we will pray, and you are going to be dead? Pray on you. I mean, what is that? You will be dead." He said that the 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 uh, all your prayer will be submitted to me, and this is the hate in the front of us. And here the translation is is a lie is lying. They are saying to to uh, in the translation, invoke many blessing on me. In fact, it doesn't say. It says the word salah and salah mean pray. So invoke many prayer to me. And they said to him, well, you will be dead. Your body will be decayed. So what what what, what do you mean? He says we prophets, our body is preserved, and all your prayer will be sent to me. Now who is Allah and who is Muhammad then? And how Muhammad, all the Muslims, their prayer will come to him. How a man, he can review all the prayer of the Muslims. And why they are sent to him. Mm. <clears throat> all right? Okay. Uh, don't let, the, let, don't let the, the Muhammadan fool you, my friend. Okay? You are smarter than this. Okay. Yeah, don't... Uh, uh, foolishness foolishness uh, is, a, is, a, is a kind of fashion these days. And Islam is a very foolish religion, so don't follow the fashion. Mm -mm. Hmm? It's a fashion to be yeah. foolish these days. They say to you, be open-minded. Open-minded means be foolish. So, uh, <clears throat> is leaving Islam is a crime? Because in Islam, uh, leaving Islam is a crime, but they always say that, uh, no, you can leave it if you don't like it. So what's the truth of it? No, Muhammad, he says, the one who changed his religion, Kill him. They lie. But Here we go. They always say that you can leave the religion. It's okay. no problem. I everything I say, I show, I show the proof in the front of us. Do you see it? Uh, changes this religion. Kill him. Okay, I see. So they can lie as much as they wish. Here, nobody can play with us. Nobody. Mm. All right. And those Muslims mm -hmm. who speak to you, tell them what about me, you know, you come and uh, debate this person, let us see what you can do. Okay. Uh, I, heard in a, I heard in a debate between a Christian and a, and a Muslim, uh, the scholars, and they were talking about the Jews, uh, the, the book of the Jews and the Quran itself uh, talks the same about, the, uh, about Moses and all those uh, prophets. Because no. the first... Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the first five chapters of the Bible is different from 
words. No, everything in the Bible is different from the Quran. The Quran is a stupid book. There's nothing to share with the Bible. Muhammad, he stole some stories from the Bible, but they are not the same. So as is a, the first as book as in the Bible and the text of the Jews the same? The Bible, our Bible is the text of the Jews in the same time. When we say the Bible, the Bible is the book of books. It's not one book. Mm. So when we say the Bible, we mean the Torah too. Yes. Okay. Uh, so the, the, book so of the book the of the Jews, you see, that because Muhammad is a liar, he did not accept the book of the Jews before him. Uh, uh, but for us, we accept every word in the book of the Jews, which mm -hmm. is the Torah. For sure, there's other books which is not really, even it's not holy for them, you know. So we accept the books and we call it the Bible. The Bible is a collection of books. <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay, thanks. All right. Anything else? No. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Take care. Happy for you. That's you. Re regain your face again and you became and you accept Christ to be your Lord. All right? Stay firm. Don't be a fool. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan? Call you? Okay, what is your name? Are you a Muslim? Prisari? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? You are agnostic? What does that mean? Agnostic for me is someone he is not sure about his gender. Like he's male, he's female, he's male, he's female, he's male, he's female. He have a mirror in the front of him. He look at the back, he is female. He look in the front, he is a male. Then he look at the back, he is a female. Well, stay who you are. I don't care. Now, do we have a Muslim when I talk to us or not? You are a Muslim? Okay, give me your, uh, your Skype. I will, uh, I will contact you. Ibrahim Ansari, give me your Skype, guys. How I'm going to call you? Okay, you can you call you? Can I? If you are a Muslim, you are welcome. Just give me your Skype, I will call you. Stop laughing at not religious people. I have the right, the, the right to laugh. If you don't like it, you can leave. If you don't like me to laugh at you, why you are here? Stop laughing at non-religious people. Are you are you are you ISIS? What you wanna? What are you are you making a threat? I, I I'm free to do whatever I want. You you non-religious people, you laugh at the Christian laugh. Why we cannot laugh at you? This guy, he keeps saying to me, call me, I'm a Muslim, but he don't give me a Skype ID. Any Abdul? Where I start reading the Bible? Well, the, the most important is the New Testament. The Old Testament is about the, the, the previous history of the Jews. So first you finish the New Testament and then to learn more about the history of the Jews and the prophets who came before Jesus That you know that will take you to the Old Testament, but for sure the first you learn is the New Testament <clears throat> uh, Mr. Fadi he's saying you are laughing at the you are you are making fun of the people who have a uh, uh, like a, a weak brain from the foreigners. What about your prophet? Let us see your prophet if he is making fun of the brain your prophet, he says this. You are talking about the one who make fun of the brains of people, brainwash people. Okay. Do you agree with your prophet, Fadi? That your your God, he will give you a penis, will never go soft or limp. Do you agree with this, uh, Fadi? Do you agree that Allah will import? hookers from hell this is why they are in hell who have nice breast and nice vagina do you agree with that you are accusing me that i am make and brainwash people foreign people right okay what is this why did i promise them a penis will never sleep explain to me what is that are you there fatty is that the brainwashing or this is a, this is a, something good 
This is why ISIS they want to kill themselves. They don't worship Allah. They worship their penis. All of them they want to get this penis. What kind of God? What is the, what is the logic? And how you can sleep if your penis is like this? Especially if it's endless. That's mean it's going. I don't. I don't want to describe how it's going to be. You know what I'm talking about. You have endless private part, and will never sleep. So what what you do with it? You put it under your pillow, in your back. Hello. Are you there? Uh, look what look what Fadi guys look what Fadi look what Fadi said hold, hold on hold on let me show you the comment I, I wish Fadi he will comment in in English not in Arabic so you can laugh with me but it's okay we will translate the one who will laugh at the brain is not the one who say things uh, we will get in heaven <laughs> those things will get in heaven <laughs> My friend, those things you can get in Las Vegas. <laughs> what heaven? You go and buy some Viagra, and then not only you, he will not sleep, they will take you to the hospital and you will die. What do you mean this is in heaven? What this is the question? What kind of heaven this heaven is? So this is heaven. We go to heaven, we don't smell air, we smell sperm. We say to Afadi, Assalamu alaikum, Afadi, he answered, Why? Because they are not allowed to take off their jalabiya, so they will hold it with their mouth when they are having sex. He cannot answer back because he's busy. Have you ever heard of a God saying you will have orgasm of 70 years? 70 years orgasm? What about 69? It's even more sexual. 70 years orgasm, Mr. Fadi? And you are telling me this is what will happen and heaven. what kind of heaven this heaven is so i visit you first year your mom should knock at your door fadi fadi uh, fadi is busy he's having orgasm his mother she come next year fadi fadi uh, fadi he cannot answer because he's having orgasm his mom she come the third year she knock harder fadi 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 cannot answer she came 10 years after, 20 years after, 30 years after, 40 years after, and the poor woman, she became old now. <laughs> Fadi, <laughs> Fadi. <laughs> the mother, she is dying now, and still, still Fadi have an orgasm. When your mom, she can see you. If your orgasm is 70 years, when your mom, she can visit you and have some coffee with you, my friend. Are you there, Fadi? <laughs> and you are talking about the brainwash. I mean, how stupid this cult is. Sorry, mom. I was having orgasm for the last 70 years. And his mom, she said, Wow, mashallah. I wish this was able, your, I wish your father was able to do that to me. His orgasm was like a rabbit. This is why we have you so small. <laughs> Fadi. How are you, Fadi? This is a religion. What is left for Mickey Mouse? And by the way, do you know the guys that Mickey Mouse is wanted in Islam? Do you know that? That the Muslims, they have a fatwa, which means a holy jihad on Mickey Mouse. They made a fatwa that Mickey Mouse must die. Let us find the fatwa. Hold on. I mean, I am really convinced that Islam is must be a great religion. Look at this. Mickey Mouse must die. Saudi Arabian cleric. Even Mickey Mouse. I mean, your religion is the most fantastic religion ever, man. Even Mickey Mouse, he should die. Why? 
because the prophet he says the mice is the enemy of Allah so let us count the the enemy of Allah the mice is the enemy of Allah Geigo is the enemy of Allah lizard is the enemy of Allah dogs are the enemy of Allah Christians are the enemies of Allah Hindus are the enemies of Allah I mean come on hello Mickey Mouse and by the way uh, for those who they are asking Mickey Mouse saying hello and he's next to me and he's okay okay but he's hiding because of the Muslims <coughs> anyone Mumkin Sual, my friend, why you don't give your question in, in English? You are in an English forum, and you guys, the Arab guys, you are giving me your questions in Arabic. So we want people to see your questions. Don't you know how to write it in English? So what's the point? If you don't speak English, you are here. Why you are here? Hassan, he want to call me. Give me your ID, Mr. Hassan. He sent me invitation. Okay, hold on. Hmm, I don't know. There's many names have the same names as yours, but let us see this one. <laughs> Are you the one end with R or the one end with Ali? Which one is you? There's a three names. I text them all. So Hassan, did you get my uh, text or no? Well, I text there's three names, Hassan Karbala. I texted the three of them, but I received no answer. All right, well, <clears throat> look like Hassan, he cannot text me for some reason. Any Muslim would like to call me? Hey guys, I searched for Hassan Karbala. I searched. There's three names. I, I text them all. And there's one of them. He's online, actually. He's not answering. Let us see this one. Here we go. Hassan, he answered and he, he hang up. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Good evening, my friend. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You are live in YouTube. What do you like to say to us? I called you uh, half uh, half a year uh, ago. Uh, I don't know if you could remember me. So <laughs> mm, I'm not this sure. It's actually the second time. Yeah, yeah, it's not a problem. There are many that call that call you. So 
All right. So what uh, what do you want to say to right. us today? Um, did you did you leave Islam when you called me last time? No, I no. didn't actually. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to say? I've, I've still uh, questions. Um, can you also uh, can you also uh, show from uh, Shia tafsir uh, from those uh, verses that you that you showed uh, today about? Uh, uh, I can't remember well like what did you show today about that you can't eat uh, that you can yes, eat it, it at is, your it is the same it is the same mother's you, houses yeah if you go to the Shia Tafsir it's the same you know here we go let us go to the Shia Tafsir no problem can I uh, give you one Tafsir that I have heard about one there's Shia tons tafsir. no problem I mean the, the Shia Tafsir is the same we go uh, we go to the Shia all right, and uh, there's tons of them. Which one you want me to uh, to go for? Uh, this one called <coughs> Al Burhan fi Tafsir Al Quran. Al Burhan. Let me see if they have it here. Fi Tafsir Al Quran. Al Burhan. Well, this website have only Al Tabrasi, Al Qummi, Al Tusi, Al Tabatai. Uh, Asafi Al Qummi, all right. Al Qummi is Al -Qummi. also good, but uh, Al Burhan fi Tafsir Quran is actually the most comprehensive. So, uh, well, this website does not have actually. Here we go. I found it. Okay, I found it. Hold on. Al Burhan fi yes, Tafsir Al Burhan. Quran. Yes, right. I found Al Burhan. All right. Okay, it's the same. If you think it's going to be different, it's not really. It's the same. Okay, mm. but we have it in Arabic. I think you speak Arabic, don't you? Well, it's my um, it's my mother tongue, but uh, I find it uh, difficult to okay. understand. Oh, oh, I mean, anyway, I can you can see my talk, screen. No? If if you see the screen, you can understand or no. Anyway, here we go. It's in front of wait, me. ليس على الآمة حرج وليس على الآرج حرج ولا على المريضة حرج ولا etc. It says from Ruwayat ibn Abi Jarud and Abi Jafar. La 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 la. It says he is repeating the same, and then uh, yeah. he says that in the uh, that uh, the people of Medina, uh, uh, before they became Muslims, uh, they don't associate much with the blind and the lame and the sick, and and uh, and they don't eat with them. This is what the Shia they are saying. But Muhammad he did the same. Do you know the chapter is called Abasa? Yes, uh, they say in uh, Shia that uh, uh, Abasa wa Tawla, uh, it's about uh, Uthman ibn Affan, but Sunni no. say uh, no. it's about Muhammad. So, no, no, no. Oh, uh, why the Quran? <laughs> why the Quran will will come about Uthman? <laughs> is Uthman? I have no idea. Is Uthman, <laughs> is, a, uh, is, Uthman is a prophet? Who is Uthman anyway? Come on. No? <laughs> uh, Allah Himself will send a verse about Uthman. So if everybody uh, he makes something, Allah He send a verse about him. So no. So. Uh, uh, but then the, the verses they are talking about it says you can't eat in the in your house of your father the house uh, mm -hmm. etc and in and the verse here actually when the Shia tried to explain it is shown us with my respect to you as a Shia it's a stupid explanation <laughs> let me tell you why the verse saying it is not a problem for the blind to eat at his home correct <laughs> is that correct I can't uh, I can see the screen Wait. Well, you know you can go to the yes. English translation you can read it on your own so in chapter 24, here we go. What is this uh, tafsir now? <laughs> I just we will read both. We will read, we'll read both. Also. But you will see that the, the Shia uh, interpretation is silly. It's not even smart because it has nothing to do with the topic. Mm. That's why I find the Shia interpretation is kind of uh, fantasy. It says there is no restriction on the blind, nor any restriction on the lame nor any restriction on the sick nor yourself if you eat at your houses correct i'm not seeing the screen right now i'm just listening okay. to you anyway this is what they were saying so now okay so why the why allah he needed to say the blind he can eat at home i mean what the blind we used to eat anyway as long as he have a home it's mean he have a home so if he cannot yes. eat in his home why would he eat so let us say somebody he don't like to eat with the blind, but he is talking about eating in your home. Yes. Okay. So what is the wisdom here? 
the sick uh, the sick he will be sick where, where the sick will be he will be uh, running in the street he will be sick he will be home and then actually i've never uh, i've never uh, heard of this uh, uh, version before so yeah or about this uh, passage so so yeah it is, it is silly. the reason that so, i became so that, curious what it says yeah, the interpretation in the in the shia website have nothing to do with the verse itself you know what does it say then like what does the interpretation say? Because, yeah. because it's talking about you know uh, if they should talk, uh, should eat with the blind or not but this is not that the verse is saying the verse saying that if you are blind you can eat at home this is how the verses start correct uh. okay okay yes well, so was the blind eating out outside before I mean in the time of Muhammad there was a, a Starbucks they go and eat there where they eat you know uh, okay and then eating in your mother house and your father house and etc I mean what is that so the Shia and always that I, I notice about the Shia when they come with interpretation the Shia they have uh, uh, Zahir wa batin. you know what does that mean right yes I understand that the, yes, out, I the outside and the inside the mm. Shia they take the inside right mm. here suddenly they want to take the outside so they are moody when they want they take the outside when they want they take the inside this is why we cannot trust the Shia explanation for anything because they they play games with the with the with the meaning when they want they make it about uh, something else it's not mentioned and when they want they make it about what is mentioned exactly uh, however here the explanation is silly and it does not give us any uh, any answer and it's the verse itself is silly anyway you know yeah I yeah uh, I thought that uh, maybe it's uh, that it was a joke that you uh, uh, that you was uh, reading that, but then I noticed that it was real, like uh, that that is uh, written in the Quran. So, <laughs> what what is your education uh, about uh, about your uh, your belief as a Shia? Like, did you read? Uh, did you study anything or? Well, I know uh, much. Uh, I have much uh, information about, uh, about the Shia, but I don't. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, acquire it from reading, but from uh, listening and from my uh, family surroundings. You know, from hmm. uh, gatherings. Like, have, you, have you ever heard yeah. of, about an angel? His name is Futros. Yes, that's the story, right? Uh, do, you like, do, do you like Imam Al Hussein? Yeah, do you like to tell the people about Futros? The story about Futros, do you like to tell it as long as you know it? Who is Futros? I forgot actually. Uh, it was about an angel that God punished him and. Yeah, he disobeyed Allah. His name people. is Futros. And then he asked Allah, Allah said to him, either I punish you now or in the judgment day, correct? Yes. And then Futros he said, "No, punish me now." So Allah broke his wings and He put him in uh, Hulunulu, in one of the islands, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And then one day, Futros he was in his island, which is the uh, uh, Allah He isolated him in, like it's like a jail. And then he heard a noise in the sky, and he saw a very uh, huge number of angels. And Futros he screamed. He says, "Who is this? What's happening?" Jibreel answered, he said, uh, I am Jibreel. He said, what's happening? He said, today a great thing happened. The, the prophet, he have a grandson. His name is al Hussein." <laughs> <laughs> and then Futros, he said to, uh, to Jibreel, can you ask Allah, please burden, so I can go and visit the grandson of the prophet and I can wave my wings over him. <laughs> I mean the Shia, they have a, a, a they have a huge section of fantasy, you know. Mm. And uh, as, as an example, the, the Shia they believe, and you are a Shia, that they believe that Muhammad and his family they are made of nur, right? Made of light. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when I when when Fatima she married from Ali, what the, what the Shia they say? What do you mean, like? When, because they say they are nur, they are light. So Ali is light, Fatima is mm -hmm. light, right? They are made from light. Muhammad is light, Ali is light, Hassan is not, is, is light. So, uh, uh, what when Ali he married from Fatima, what happened? 
he he just married her like no they they, yeah. they say that the light married from the light hmm. and this is why and why they say the Shia that uh, Muhammad and his family they are light because the Quran says in chapter 33 verse number 46 that uh, Muhammad is a Siraj a Siraj and Muni right okay yeah so they claim that the Quran says that Muhammad is light and this is the Quran confirmed that Allah himself is light correct correct mm -hmm. so okay but uh, Muhammad and here we, we notice a, a, a second ago I told you that the Shia the funny about them when they want they take the inside meaning when they want they take the outside meaning correct here they took the outside meaning they say here we go Muhammad is described in the Quran as a lamp spreading light and Allah is light and from that they say that Muhammad and his family Ali and uh, and I don't know why Ali became light too because yes Ali is the cousin <laughs> but if this is the case it's mean all the cousin of Muhammad must be light too correct why only Ali yeah it's uh yeah they say the the 14 infallibles like uh mm, the, the, Muhammad the, the three uh, Fatima mm. and the 12 Imams like uh, Ali, yeah, but you know, no, no, you see, and, no, uh, but you see here the you see the hypocrisy here. Ali is a cousin of Muhammad, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, but Muhammad he had many cousins. So why only yeah. from Muhammad and Ali and down we go with their childrens after that, and why we don't count the cousin of Muhammad, the other cousins? You understand me? Yes. Why only Ali from all the cousins he is light. <laughs> I don't know actually yeah. they say yeah like uh, uh, God uh, created them uh, first before everything like yeah they were that's they, they the were belief, they were they were stars in the forehead of Allah they were stars made of light in the where forehead. is that uh, Ali and Hassan al Hussein and Fatima and Muhammad they were stars in the forehead of Allah okay but. Uh, is that a, a hadith or yeah 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 you know so uh, uh, you know there's tons of hadith about uh, about this uh, uh, they they say but I uh, they say, wanted to uh, know about makhluqat nuraniya which mean they are from light but they appear in a human shape you understand. So they have an appearance uh, of a human being, but in fact they are not. They are made of light. Don't tell me you never heard this before. No, uh, I know this. It's, it's uh, like uh, I have uh, uh, many times uh, uh, heard this, but I'm not sure what is meant by light. Like. I don't know if Noor is like the same uh, meaning as uh, light, what we uh, mean now. Like, yeah, light, Allah, um, uh, uh, Allah himself. I don't know if that's. Yeah, Allah I don't himself know what is light. Allah himself is. is light. And he is the source of all light, supposedly. And uh, Ali and his and Muhammad and his family. And by the way, Fatima is not the daughter of Muhammad anyway. Since when Fatima became his daughter? What is the proof? There's no proof. Muhammad, he cannot have kids. Fatima is the daughter of Khadija, but she was the youngest of the children of Khadija. So she was called in Muhammad because she is the youngest father. You know what I mean? Muhammad, he married Khadija. She have uh, many husbands before him. She have a children who they are in the age of Muhammad almost. So that's why we don't notice Muslims talking about the children and the male children of, of Khadija. They always mention female children. And the one they mention, especially the Shia Fatima, why they claim that Fatima is the only one which Muhammad he have from Khadija, but Muhammad is a man he cannot have children, and this is proven he have all the wives after he never been uh, able to have any child from anyone. And Khadija she was a lot older than Muhammad, so how Khadija she can give a baby? Khadija was. Uh, 40 when he married her, he was uh, more uh, 25. Than four, more, right? accor according to them, more than 45. What 40? And she have two husbands. Yeah. And same time, it's not the fault of Khadija because already Khadija, obviously, she have kids. But Khadija, she was old, and Muhammad, he cannot have kids. 
Muhammad he married women after women after women after women and then one day uh, Mary the cop she got pregnant and the uh, Muhammad he thought this is from her because he was deep with her but the fact it was not even having Aisha she told him he don't even look like you so Muhammad he cannot even the Quran says that people they used to him that he they used to say to him you are the aptar you know what aptar right uh it means uh, like uh, cut you are cut you are cut off they are making no. fun of his private part cut you off. cannot have babies you know so you are not man what? enough why because Ap you cannot have children you know uh, the aptar i looked it up uh, um has uh, different uh, meanings like uh uh, after means uh, like uh, without a tail well, yeah it's yeah. about penis but a, a, man, a man he don't have a pen he don't have a tail do he <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they but uh, another meaning is like uh, 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 like uh, the, like their marriage was you can, without any kids. yeah you can you can use this word in many ways but here obviously talking about him he cannot have babies it's obvious so and, so so this is about the Aptar. Arab, i saw that uh, after uh, also could mean like uh, someone uh, doesn't have uh, male uh, children like no problem only uh, females and then yeah this is his uh, surname will like yeah it's actually uh, stupid maybe but uh, yeah so maybe uh, but uh, but look at this I don't know. regardless of the meaning it's about him not having children uh, and uh, uh, look at the verse Allah he answered Muhammad he says uh, the guy he's saying to him to Muhammad you are after and Allah he says to him we give you a fountain what does this have to do with this what do you think like Al there's, a, there's a guy this is a chapter 108 108 a guy he says to you you are after and then you answer him says I have a fountain <laughs> what is this uh... A river or uh, Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad. Yeah, uh, that's in the Al Kawthar. Al Kawthar. Yeah, the Shia. They, they see here. Here we go. The Shia. Now they give it. Al Kawthar suddenly became Fatima. Why? Why he didn't say Fatima? <laughs> <laughs> so Al Kawthar, supposedly, according to the, the Muslim Sunni interpretation, it's a river in the uh, in the heaven, and this river, uh, its water is whiter than milk, and it's sweet. All right. And I believe yes. that Al Kawthar is a river of sperm. Because what the connection between this and this? Think about it. The guy accusing Muhammad that he is not man enough to have babies, correct? He's trying to insult him. I'm not 100% uh, sure because Abtar uh, seems uh, ambiguous and I don't know, like. <clears throat> Um, okay, I will like go with you. You, you say off his, you said he don't uh, have private he, he, part, but okay. Can you like? Is there a, a dictionary or a or a my, my friend, or but, any but use a, for that? A, a battar. What is a sayful battar? The cutting sword. Sharp, the sharp, know. the one who cuts sharp. anything. Okay, so this is aptar. It's a, it's a, a past, past tense, so it's cut off. As simple as that. All right, so. After yes, is yes. about cut off. The, the guy is making fun of him. He's saying to him, "You don't have a penis." As simple as that. Yeah. Okay. I like, mean, yeah. Like in the street today, if, if somebody is rude, he said to the to a person, "You are not man enough. You cannot have sex." All right. And actually, the, there is a reason for that. I don't know if you know the hadith where Muhammad says, "I was the most weak person between all mankind in sex," and then I invoke Allah, and He sent me a dish of al kufait which is kebab. And I ate it, and I get the uh, get the power of forty men. You know the hadith. Uh, which book is that? Uh, we can find it in many books. This is all over, you know. So he invoked, in and even Fatima, even Fatima, she ate, uh, even uh, even Fatima, she ate from that. Uh, I don't know what happened to her after she ate <laughs> that kofta. So uh, <clears throat> let me find uh, find some reference for you. Al Kafi or Bihar al Anwar. Um, let me see if I can find it in the Shia. Uh, but for sure, we can find it in a Tabakat al Kubra. <clears throat> but 
But have you right. uh, studied uh, Shia uh, books? Sure, we like study everything. All of you know, them? When you study, uh, when you study Islamic law, you study all. You don't study only one. ذكر ما أعطي رسول الله من القوة على الجماع. Mentioning the the power the Prophet was given in into sexual intercourse. It says here, the Prophet said, صلى الله عليه وسلم, كنت من أقل الناس في الجماع حتى أنزل الله علي الكفيد. فما أريده من ساعة إلا وجدته. وهو قدر فيها لحم. أخبرنا محمد etc etc etc. And here he says, and I will translate for you guys. You give me a minute. لقيني جبريل بقدر بقدر فأكلت منها وأعطيت الأطيط الكفيت قوة أربعين رجل في الجماع. Translation: Muhammad saying I was the most weak person between all mankind in 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 sex. And then I invoke Allah and Allah He sent me a dish of al kufayt like shish kebab kufta, you know. And I ate it and I get the power of forty men. Allah He sent it to me with Jibril every time, every hour I needed. Allah He sent it to me. Okay, and after he ate it, he got the power of forty men. And here they are saying that Muhammad he used to have sex with nine wives in one night. Okay, and, this is and here, uh, here, uh, uh, here. What, uh, what's your name, by the way? You can uh, call me uh, Hassan. Hassan, no problem. So Hassan, here you can tell why somebody want to exaggerate about his sexual power unless he's trying to cover up something. You know what I mean? I mean, why you are telling people why? Why Muhammad is saying I was the most weak person between mankind in sex? So obviously he has a problem, correct? But yet he claim that after he prayed to Allah, Allah he sent him this dish of kebab and he ate it, and since he ate it, he got the power of forty men. But his wife Aisha, as usual, she got him busted. Aisha, she says that the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he was not. Because Muhammad, when he start exaggerating about his sexual power, women they talk, and the women they ask Muhammad, wives, how was it yesterday? We heard that he, he did the uh, boing boing to all of you in one night. Look what Aisha she was saying to them. The prophet continued for such and such a period. Imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact he did not. Do you see it? Yeah, but this is uh, Bukhari. And, yeah, but uh, it doesn't matter. You know, you know, we have to connect. You see, for me, I don't care if it's uh, mm. uh, Bukhari, uh, Sahih, uh, Shia, or Sahih Muslim Sunni. It doesn't matter. All is garbage for me. With my respect to you, but uh, at the end of the day, there's no, there's no smoke without fire, as they say. Correct. Is that correct? Mm. Why Aisha she is saying Sorry? that there is no there is no smoke if there is no fire, correct? So oh, okay. this smoke is coming from where? Why Aisha is saying such a thing? Aisha she is confirming here for us that Muhammad he have a sexual problem. He imagined himself having sex. So the, she is she is saying that the reason he was bewitched, a black magic, but we know that the black magic is not exist. So. What was the real reason? Obviously, Muhammad, he go outside in the street and he claimed that he is a hero. Yesterday, he have sex with all of them. And then when the women, they speak to the women, they say he did not even touch us yesterday. What are you talking about? So now how they can cover the lies of the prophet? They claim that he was under black magic to the point he think or he thought he's having sex, but in fact, he did not. Mm -hmm. And as long as we are talking about sex, you know that you, you Shia, your people, they believe if you wear black shoes, that will affect your sexual private part. You know that, right? I have uh, heard that uh, previously, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Do you believe in it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, just uh, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to explore. <laughs> You know, like I really, uh, I don't know. It's so confusing. Uh, so many, uh, like uh, even uh, between. Uh, I have to admit, even uh, between uh, Sunni and uh, Shia, I think like, why do we Shia uh, hate uh, 
uh, Aisha so much if she was the the wife of the prophet, and then she suddenly became like because she uh, evil because she and, made the war against and, Ali, obviously, you know, she had the worship Ali. There is no question about that. You know, it's, there is, Shia is a is an Islamic religion born of Islam, but they change. Uh, well, the Sunni they worship Muhammad. They claim he is a prophet, but the fact they worship him, uh, uh, the Shia, they worship Ali and his family. You know? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, now, according to you, as a Shia, which book you consider is the most uh, accurate? Is that Al Kafi? Al Kafi. Yes. Okay. Well, Al Kafi is full of madness too. I mean, Al Kafi. So, do you believe Al Kafi is accurate for you? Do you, do you follow it, or you just say? I haven't read it because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I find it uh, difficult to read uh, Arabic books. I can read, but yeah, as an example, uh, in, in the book of mm -hmm. Al Kafi, Muhammad he sucked the nipples of his uncle, and he he gave him milk. Is that a true story? I've never heard of it before. Okay, do you think really this is a true story or this is fictions of the Shia? Uh, if I think it uh, it's fiction from Shia, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, same time, like uh, same for Al Hassan. Al Hassan he used to suck. Uh, uh, he used to feed from the finger of the Prophet. Let me try to find the, the hadith. Hold on. Uh, Al Hassan, sorry, Al Hussein, Al Hussein, not Al Hassan. Uh, he used to suck the the finger of uh, Muhammad for two days or three days non-stop which means he feed he feed from the finger of Muhammad okay one second like you are showing it the, on oh, the oh, screen I'm just looking not? for the height I just remember it so I don't uh, I don't know the exact number uh, but as I know uh, that this is mostly in value number one of Al, Al Kafi, page four hundred something. I don't remember exactly, but I will find it. Hold on. Um, I'm just trying to find an official website. All right, yeah. Uh, if you if you go uh, on Google, you can find it easily. Uh, I think Al Kafi Bihar Anwar. Uh, yeah, uh, Arabic. There's many actually, but I want to find a Shia website, uh, not just a website. Okay, let us see here. Because you know when you search for a hadith, and I remember hadith very well, they always you find it in the Sunni. Not uh, anyway. Uh, it's al back. I, I found the reference. It's al Kafi, uh, very number one, uh, page number three eighty six. Kitab al Hujja. Okay. Kitab al Hujja. So uh, al Hussein uh, says, uh, al Hussein, لم يرضى الحسين من فاطمة عليه السلام. Hussein, he did not suckle from any female, neither from Fatima, but he used to come to he used to be brought to the Prophet, and the Prophet he put his finger in his mouth and he suck it for, uh, uh, with, with what is enough for two days or three days. <laughs> so Al Hussein, really? Al Hussein, yeah, Al Hussein, he never suckled from his mother, he never suckled from any male, uh, any female. He suckled only from the prophet finger and each time he suckled from the finger of the prophet uh, He suckled for uh, he like he get what is enough uh, uh, For two days or three days <clears throat> What is uh, meant like suck like, he suckled his uh, he suckled he sucked his uh, finger in the prophet He put his finger in his mouth, you know, and then al-Hussein he, uh, he suckled it uh, and then that would be enough, supposedly, for two or three days as food. All right? Mm. Yeah. Actually, let me, I think I found it. Um, I can... Uh, you can search it anyway. You can search it. it. Uh, yeah. Afterwards, I can yeah. look it up. Uh, yeah. 
yeah. Anyway, there's uh, the Shia, they are not better than the Sunni. So, like, uh, uh, let, let me ask you, Hassan. So, what do you think now? Like, I mean, I don't know. Are you still a Muslim or what are you? Um, uh, I find it uh, really uh, confusing, I have to be honest with you. You know, it's, uh, yeah. So, well, um, I don't know. Uh, there is actually not one uh, single religion of which I'm really convinced, you know. Let us like, focus okay, right now. Are, let us focus mm. now on what you have as a as a Shia. So you want to stay as a Muslim Shia, or you decide to leave? You know, uh, yeah, these uh, things uh, that you that show, okay, uh, they are uh, true. Like uh, I can't uh, deny them, and okay, they are uh, strange, but at the same time, there are other uh, things I don't know that. That uh, uh, keeps me to the belief, maybe, or like what? Like, yeah, we, we are uh, brought up with the uh, love for for Al, Al Hussein, uh, and especially this is, uh, you know, it's people you do not know them, and you know, and you grow up, uh, you know, if you repeat, I love somebody, you believe, you believe a lie. Uh, but uh, yeah. who was Al Hassan Al Hussein, and you know why, and why Al Hassan Al Hussein? Uh, they became a center of a religion. I mean, who are they? Like, do you know Al Hussein? Like uh, they say, he's uh, he's the mercy of the uh, uh, of Allah. And yeah. uh, uh, you see, there is they go to uh, Karbala. You know, so all the hadith about Al Hassan Al Hussein. I guarantee you, they are fabrication. Ali, he appeared in many places in the same time. Stories of Ali doing miracles. Uh, Ali, he can shake the doors of the whatever. I mean, Ali, he can do things nobody can do. Hassan, Hussein, the heaven dancing for Allah, and Hussein. I mean, come on, this is, this is just nothing but a pagan practice. The the what happened when Islam came to uh, especially uh, the, to Iraq, specifically to Iraq. In Iraq. Uh, there was Yazidi, there was a Christians, there was a uh, Persian, and the, the 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 Muslim they came with Ali. Correct. Ali and his family they came to Iraq. In Iraq, yes, they yeah. came in Iraq. Yes. So this is why here we we find that they made a replacement of their previous cult, like the Yazidi, etc. And they needed something spiritual, so they changed God by a new God. Okay, we got rid of the previous God, now we have new God. So Ali became God. His children became, and they, and they fabricate tons of stories about those children who they are incredible, who they are like uh, in, in, impossible. Uh, like uh, Al Mahdi, as an example. Who, who's Al Mahdi? Can you tell to the people here what is Al Mahdi? The Shia, they talk about Al Mahdi too much. Al Mahdi and Shia, like. Uh, in Shia, they believe like it's the uh, twelfth uh, Imam. Mm. He's uh, uh, infallible, uh, masum. Uh, he has uh, knowledge about everything. Actually, the same uh, knowledge as uh, Muhammad. Like it's uh, the same, and uh, he lives on the uh, on the earth, but you can't see him. Like that's the Shia he, belief. He, he, but, uh, he lived, but the Sunnis he lived, he lived believe the, that he, he in has the to be born. <laughs> what do you say? In the Sardab. He lived in the Sardab. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's actually a misconception, like uh, a misconception. No. Uh, they, they he lives no, like no. freely on on the, on the earth, but uh, they say we can't see him, but he can see us, he mm. can hear us, but we do. Uh, yeah. Okay, let us, let us make it simple. The, the, the idea of al-Mahdi is nothing but fiction first of all they don't even know who is he they give you give you different names as an example what is the name of al-Mahdi mother Nargis right some people they say her name is Maryam some they say Nargis how he was born uh, let me recall it was a miracle from the side of remember. her leg correct from the side of her leg I don't know that yeah, from the side of her leg, you know, there is no way Al Mahdi is going to be born of a vagina. Hello. <laughs> so you see, all those stories is nothing but fabrication. So the guy he might be exists as a person, 
But then, obviously, the caliphate at that time, he kidnapped him, he killed him, because many people, they follow him, and he disappeared. <clears throat> and then the Shia, they start saying, Al-Mahdi, he took the book with him, he will come back, he can't see us, we cannot see him. But it's an idea, which is a silly idea. Why, why Al-Mahdi is still alive, and he's not a human? Is he a human? Well, uh, according to the Shia belief, uh, he's uh, he's a member of the Ahl al-Bayt, so that makes him not human. Yeah, so he's he's, a, he's made of light. His... Yeah, but why? So why Ali is is dead? Who is more important, Al-Mahdi or Ali? Why why al why Al-Mahdi is the one who uh, disappeared and he went in the Sardab, and you say that he is he is alive, he's in the earth, but we cannot see him, and not only that. Uh, he have the book with him. Is that correct? Mm, all okay. books. Okay. What? Uh, what? In jail, uh, also the Torah. They yeah. say. Why he have the books Quran with him? Like, actually, who? No, we, we are the one who need the book. Why he have it with him? <laughs> why he took the book? I don't know. I mean, come on, leave the book for us. <laughs> so, according to them, the Quran. I heard that uh, that uh, he will uh, uh, he will uh, give it to uh, Jesus because uh, Jesus. In Shia Islam, uh, and, he will. And why also he need to give it to Jesus? Return. Jesus do not need the book. We need it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure uh, about that. That's... So, Maybe, friend, I, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, the Shia. I think you know, the, the Shia not, is a collection of fictions, you know, and uh, tons of stories. Nobody knows where they are coming from. Uh, the same as Fotros, the same as uh, you know, fancy fantasy miracle. Uh, you know, if you go on YouTube, I wish I can play for you some videos of the Shia. You will not believe it. The world football is coming from Al Hussein. The, the Give world, me the uh, titles. The world, uh, Ali. The no world, uh, the airplanes is coming from Al Hassan. Uh, the world, uh, etc. The cell phone is made by Ali. Uh, the, I mean, it, the, it's it's beyond stupidity. It's crazy. Just go search on YouTube and, and laugh. You, as long as you understand Arabic, I mean, you would die laughing heard of it. at the fantasy they they, they claim. So. Uh, uh, they they created a new image of the family of Muhammad and they made them like gods on the earth. Uh, and now you will see that uh, Shia didn't cry for Allah, they cry for Al Hassan, Al Hussein, correct? Mm, yes. Why? Who are they? I don't know. Uh, they say, like, if you if you cry for them, uh, your, your sins uh, will be uh, washed away. Mm. Or, or, yeah. Yeah, see, so look, so look what happened. The Muslims, the Sunni, uh, they they have different worship. They worship the black stone. They claim that the black stone, if you touch it in the Yemeni corner, forgive your sin. Muhammad, he told them, if you say the name of Allah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, uh, <laughs> etc., Allah will forgive your sin. I mean, each one of them, he have his own stories for forgiving sin. But oh, both of them, is, uh, both of them, the stories are doesn't make sense. And it's silly. Mm. But the thing is, uh, Sunnis uh, say uh, say about us that that we uh, that uh, Shia commit uh, shirk, but uh, they themselves uh, commit uh, shirk uh, too, like uh, kissing a black stone. And Muhammad, like you, showed. you see the shahada. So, so both they are of, actually both of you, uh, uh, bo hypocrites. Bo both of you, you commit shirk because both of you, you say shahada, <laughs> shahada. The shahada yeah. itself is shirk. You associate the name of a man with the name of a mm. god, correct? I mean, why in, in order to say Shahada, I have to say the name of Muhammad. Now, in the case of the Shahada of, of the Shia, they, they added the name of Ali. Yes. Correct? So now the Sunni, they added the name of Muhammad. The Shia, they added the name of Ali and etc. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, the, 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 sh the Shahada of the Shia is long. And even at the point became now, you have to curse Abu Bakr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's true. It's a cursing uh, party. Actually, uh... <laughs> you have uh, like uh, like a shortened uh, version. Ashhadu uh, Allah uh, ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Aliyun, Waliullah. Like that's uh, yeah. But then you uh, have simple form. And, and then you have to but start then, cursing. No, no. Uh, uh, also, Ashhadu an Aliyan wa Auladu al Maasumina, Hujjatullah. Like yeah, right. that too. And cursing. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, what kind uh, of what this religion? I mean, you have to curse. Uh, 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 
Uh, it's a it's a madness. And if you if you uh, like, you see, I, I wish all people they understand Arabic. If you understand Arabic, you will die laughing from the comedy between the Shia and the Sunni. If you watch, <laughs> if you watch, there's a there's a guy. His name is Yasser Al Habib. You know him? Yeah, sure. This guy is so good. <laughs> but he's uh, crazy. I don't know. He yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know. No, no, no. He's not a crazy. No, no, no. He's not, he's not a crazy. He's not. The, the crazy is Islam. It's not, it's not him. <laughs> it's not him, my friend. <laughs> let, let me let me tell you. You see, uh, if you go to Yasser Al Habib, he says that in the video uh, that Hafsa and Aisha they, they killed the Prophet, correct? Aisha, uh, right? Not Hafsa. Aisha and Hafsa. Oh, yes, both. both of them. They they are, they are in the they are even the Quran. You know, even because the Shia, what the Shia they say, they say the Shia, the Quran says that Sagat Aymanahum. Do you know what does that mean? Aymanahum is like the the right side, but the yeah, Aymanahum is, is their heart. So their heart uh, decline a lot. They become kufar. All right. Hmm. So the Quran confirm that Hafsa and Aisha both they became kufar in the sight of Allah. To the point he made a threat that he will wage war in them and he will send Allah and Jibreel and the believers and every angel in this earth to fight against two the women. I mean here th th this verse alone uh, here alone uh, Hassan it sh should be enough for you to leave Islam. A guy but, the Quran, okay, but uh, uh, what does the Shia tafsir say? It's, a, it's this, a saying, uh, but it's a, it's more aggressive against Aisha. It's all about Aisha. She is ugly. She is evil. She is blah blah blah. You know the story. But here, the story here, regardless of Shia or Sunni, if two women they have a problem with their husband, what kind of a man he need the following support against those two women? I don't know if you can see the screen. Wait a minute. I, if I'm you on two. Phone. Turn That's in repentance hope. to him. Your heart are indeed inclined. But if you back e up each other against him, which means Muhammad, truly Allah is his protector and Jibreel and every righteous among those who believe and furthermore the angels will back him up. <laughs> I mean, if you hear this, you will think that this is a war will happen between the 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 Soviet Union and the Muslims uh, between uh, America and all the Muslims like somebody have nukes you know what I mean I mean you need Allah and Jibreel and every righteous and all the angels to support you against two women they are five foot tall and they are your wives you know, you know what I mean yeah I it's for me it's uh, confusing like why why are there why are they uh, his wives like Aisha and Hafsa and both are like so much hated in uh, Shia Islam. Like, yeah, sometimes I think like, why did God uh, choose that? Like, and not only that, actually, uh, you know, I don't know how much you know about the Quran, but the Quran, uh, based based on this, uh, uh, you know, if if uh, Aisha and Hafsa they are bad, isn't it the Quran says, "Well, khabithatul khabithin." You know what does that mean? You know what al khabithat means? I know what that means, yes. Okay. Like Can you the translate? evil or okay. yeah, the evil so or the evil. If, if, if both are evil and the Quran says that Allah make make the, 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 the evil women marry evil men, so how Muhammad marry them? Unless he is evil too. I guess uh, Shia say uh, the, this is an exception, like for. What exception? Muhammad That's it. No, no, no. I'd say is you know like the, the translation of the Muslims <laughs> is very funny. The 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 al khabitha the filthy bad ones for the bad ones, which means there's no exception. Doesn't say. Do you see in the verse any exception? Doesn't say any exception. That's it. The bad ones will marry the bad ones. So Allah will make it. Uh, it's a, like a destiny. So Allah will make the bad women marry a bad man, because this is what they deserve. Then, then we find that Aisha and Hafsa, both of them, they are khabithat. <laughs> so how this is work? This is why we say the Quran is a is a is a joke. You know, bad women, they marry bad men. It's a destiny. So if Muhammad was a good man, 
and his wives are bad women and the Quran says Allah will make always bad men marry bad women and bad women marry only bad men and vice versa and the good men they will marry good women so was Aisha and Hafsa bad or, or good when they're hard and inclined and they have a strike against the Prophet and the Prophet he made verses claiming that Allah he sent it to him Oh yeah, and Shia Islam, it's uh, it's like blindingly obvious. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know both of them here they are in trouble because the Quran for the both for the Shia and for the Sunni. I know that the Shia didn't agree with the whole Quran. They say there's corruption in the Quran, but it's still you know it doesn't matter really. It's as you see. The uh, a... the Shia, as I can remember, like uh, there was uh, Quran uh, Quran Ali. Quran uh, Ali, Quran Fatima, there's it, many Quran. Like uh, uh, beside the Hafs and uh, Hasim, but uh, somehow it got lost. But no, they burn it. Supposedly. Quran it Ali was, was uh, um, chronological, as I can remember. It had a different. Obviously, uh, all the Qurans uh, yeah, are different. Yeah, it was different. But, all of yeah. them, all every book was different because Muhammad he did not give one Quran. Uh, you see Muhammad because he's a fake prophet false prophet. He cannot recite the same verse twice correctly This is why in the Quran it says uh, in chapter 2 uh, that uh, Any verses we abrogate or cause to be forgotten Why he abrogate or cause to be forgotten because Muhammad he don't he cannot remember a verse uh, uh, You know uh, Twice so one he say it this way the other time he say a different way So the Muslim didn't notice and the people didn't notice that and In order to cover himself from the lies he keep giving he said well Allah he caused me to forget Quran But he will give me something better and similar <laughs> so, Something better or similar. So what the point forget? of forgetting? Yeah, the Quran says forget? that Ch chapter 2 verse 106 Okay, so the, but in, uh, but in the Shia we believe they are I mean uh, the Shia believe that they have all knowledge like yeah <laughs> no no it's the same okay, look, look. Same knowledge okay. as Allah. It, the Quran is clear any verses we cause to be for uh, we abrogate or cause to be forgotten all right mm -hmm. and the reason for that uh, even the Sunni they agree that the reason for this because Muhammad he used to say something in the morning and then he changed my, his mind afternoon let us go uh, show in the English translation for people so they can see with us and I will use the Sunni because this is the only one in English in this website. So you will see that the the kuffar, supposedly the Arab, who they are not believing Muhammad, they do not believe in him because Muhammad he is obviously it's obvious that he is lying. He says something in the morning, second day he change it. You know, and why Muhammad will change that fast? I mean, if you are prophet of God, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with this website; it's not working. Which tafsir is that? You can go go to Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas shared by both. Mm. You will see. So I don't know. Uh, Shia Shia say that uh, he is a uh, yeah. But Ibn uh, Abbas. They cannot, uh, they cannot say he was Shia. He was Sunni. I mean, actually, they claim that Abbas Ibn Abbas was a Shia because he is from the family of the Prophet too. <laughs> I heard a scholar say like uh, he is a he is a Hashimi, so you may not uh, curse him, but. Uh, he still did like uh, wrong things. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, he's not from all uh, all Al all, all the say. Shia. All the Shia act and believe is based in practical uh, movement. It has nothing to do with religion, but they make they made the political agenda a religion. All of this because you know Ali he wanted to be the caliphate, and um, Aisha she opposed him and. Uh, Abu Sufyan and his children they oppose uh, etc so you know it became a war between two sects but it was not really in the beginning it was not a sect it was just fighting over power this website have a problem it's not opening yeah but anyway you can you can open it later chapter 2 verse number 106 you will see that uh, you will see in the interpretation that the reason because the Muhammad he says something in the morning and then in the second day he changed it and the Arab they were say look at this man. He claimed to be a prophet in the morning He enjoy his followers something and afternoon or at and the second day he changed his mind 
same as the muta like you shia you, you practice muta until now correct it is uh, allowed but i haven't seen uh, any shia that actually oh come on the shia uh, they practice it, it widely they practice it widely in Lebanon. I mean, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, if you like, uh, ask uh, someone like, uh, can I? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there are uh, there are stories uh, about uh, sheikhs that uh, that they say like, yeah, uh, you can uh, uh, you can do uh, muta, and then uh, someone uh, uh, asks him, so can I do with your uh, daughter muta, and then. He becomes angry <laughs> so, <laughs> because he is a hypocrite. <laughs> that's, uh, I know many of those. Yeah, you uh, can stories, do you can do muta, but not with so my I daughter. Mean, but but so isn't, I mean, uh, but isn't it the uh, same? Isn't it the same with with the with the with the Muhammad? Muhammad he allow everybody to marry more than one, right? When Ali yes, he wanted to marry additional women over Fatima, Muhammad was very upset. You remember? Really. Oh yeah, I don't know he's a, because he's a hypocrite. <laughs> so Where is e that? every man, you can search it. Maybe like because we will go soon. Maybe you can call me tomorrow. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Muhammad, he have no problem. He himself, he have thirteen wives. Ali, he wanted to marry additional women beside the Fatima. Muhammad, he got so upset. Not, not for my daughter. That's what he said to me. Not for my daughter. And here you notice the hypocrisy. Suddenly. All the teaching he, he taught, it's gone. You know, he taught them and the Muslim men. It's it is your right to have uh, to have an additional wife. But when Ali he want to marry additional wife, suddenly Muhammad he don't agree, and that because he's a hypocrite man. Maybe maybe tomorrow if you if we go live on air, you can call me, and we can talk about this topic. Anyway, All right, son, that's good. Uh, it's time for me to go. I can stay longer. Uh, thank you for calling. It was nice talking to you. Uh, feel free to call us thank always. You. But I let me ask you before, uh, finally, after All the right. end of this conversation, you still want to be Shia? You still want to be a Muslim? Be honest with me. Um, I mean, you are laughing. You know, I can tell uh, you are laughing. You are not a believer, like, really. I mean, what is like there are some uh, some uh, uh, hadith I find it uh, strange. Uh, for example, like uh, Muhammad uh, says that uh, whoever's uh, uh, whoever doesn't eat meat or uh, doesn't like meat and perfume, he is not from me or such. Yeah, and look, I don't know, and, and, That's, and sex uh, and sex too. So I think, like, why? Uh, for example, meat. Okay, uh, you can like it. You can't like it. Like what does this have to do with choice. God anyway? What does this Perfume. have to do with God? No, what does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with being bad and good? It's silly, right? But the thing, I, I don't know, man. It's so uh, like, it's uh, scary. The picture about hell and everything, you the see, punishment. That, that, like they say, if trust you me, trust me, Islam, trust me, will... trust me. I'm a believer too, and I believe in hell and heaven too. But it is, it is the hell I see is being a Muslim. I mean, your the heaven Muhammad he promised you is nothing but a satanic heaven. What is what? What kind of God? What is religion? You know, I will go to heaven and right away I'm holding my penis and women they are taking off their clothes and their and their legs is up. I mean, isn't it obvious this is satanic? What's what Satan? He, he, if you believe in Satan, if you believe in evil, then you should know that it is Satan who tried to seduce us and tempt us by uh, uh, having many partners and sex with everybody and the party party. So. It's it's obvious. I mean, this is not heaven. Even God, when He created Adam, He created one Eve, correct? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay. So if God can make Adam happy with one Eve, why He need to make uh, hundreds of Eves for me in the heaven when I come back, and tens of thousands of little uh, children? Shia too, or only oh, a Sunni? No, like no, Shia and Sunni. No, both Shia and Sunni. They believe in the virgins. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Oh yeah. Both of them they believe, and the, but their numbers is different. But it's still the same, and the Shia heaven is more fantasy, more crazy actually from the Sunni. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, this is uh, this is obvious. This is satanic. This is not from God. I mean, it's against the nature of God. The promises. You see, if I come to your house, and let's say you have a birthday, okay, and the people come in to give you gifts, everyone he give you a gifts of his choice, correct? 
Mm -hmm. But the gift is giving you idea about the person who gave the gift. Do you agree? Yes, sure. So if I give you a book which is the Bible, that's mean I'm a Christian, I'm religious, correct? Mm -hmm. But if I give you a DVD of porn, what is that will give you an idea <laughs> about me? You know what I mean? That's mean the gift is telling you what is the interest of the one who gave you the gift. Correct? I remember uh, something about Huriyat, uh, like they say, like, oh, wait, wait, let me recall. Uh, they say, like, in Jannah, uh, like, there, uh, you have uh, music in uh, Jannah, but it is uh, they, like much they, uh, better they will, than the they will music sing, here. They and, will yeah. sing for you. They have one song they repeat, they have one name, they, one, they have one height. Uh, they have uh, one uh, one face. They have one look. Uh, all of them they dress the same, uh, uh, you know, uh, etc. So all of them is the same. Uh, but uh, what I'm trying to say to you, when somebody his gift is about sex, isn't it? This is telling you who is he? Yes. The holy God, his gift to you is sex. Why he think you're a dog? You think you are what? I mean, what what, what is that? So, uh, sex is exist, and it is God gift to us for the reasons of to reproduce. God, He made Adam and Eve, so they can be a couple. They can have a family, and the joy mm -hmm. of sex was as a as a let us say uh, as an attraction for the men and the women to live together and to reproduce. But in the heaven, there's no reproduction. According to Islam, so what the purpose of this? Where can I uh, find uh, this uh, about the Shia, like the heaven and how it looks like, and these uh, uh, details that you mentioned? Like, I want to know in, the, in the Shia Islam, like Al Kafi or well, we, Anwar, what, we, we, what there, is, there is actually there is many many source for for the Huriyat, but uh, uh, both the Shia and the Sunni they believe in that. And maybe tomorrow, if you call me tomorrow, uh, we can go and we can discuss more because I'm really interested to see uh, to see you leaving this cult because I can tell now you are not making decision. Uh, but um, and I don't know really why why you are not uh, uh, why you are not making decision yet <laughs> because I don't have like you know it's about the Shias now and. Uh, there isn't like much information uh, uh, about it. If you, if you, uh, if you uh, look like, for example, uh, David, uh, David's uh, videos, David Wood. It's, mm. it's about uh, Sunni Islam. Yours are mostly about Sunni um, because they are the majority. They are the biggest uh, number of Muslims. You know. So for me, like you ask me, yeah, it's um, the. The difficulty is, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't have much information and uh, people uh, criticizing it and discussing it. And it's mostly in Arabic. So, yeah, it's, I think that, you know, if I, if I have like many uh, uh, narrations and uh, stories from uh, 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 Tafsir uh, shown from uh, Shia Islam, then, okay, I can. I can yeah, but, uh, but have if the you, time and okay, then think but, about it, you know. All right, but you know, you yourself, you you know that the Shia and the Sunni, maybe they are different in the uh, in the branches, but the, uh, at the end, all of them they have the same ending. As an example, like the most popular number for the the Sunni for the versions is seventy two, for the Shia is eight hundred. So it doesn't matter really if it's seventy two or eight hundred. It's the same. You know what I mean? No, uh, I, I've uh, I've actually never uh, heard about the numbers or anything in, uh, in Shia Islam. I'm just uh, I'm just being uh, honest with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, in yeah, the okay. mosques they let, let me see they if don't I can find tell that. let me I see if I can why. find this hadith about uh, <coughs> about the eight hundred versions. The eight hundred versions are not the number of the versions. I mean, the number of the women you will get. This is the versions, and I think there's a thousand other additional women. So uh, 800 versions, 
Let me see if I can find the reference. Hold on. What you what you said about the Shia, like uh, they are the the minority, but yeah, uh, they are uh, they are still uh, uh, ten percent to twenty percent. Like you can't measure it exactly, but they are actually more than a uh, uh, hundred million. So they are still many. You know? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But you, you, the the reason the most the million. most who come to the Iraq. Me, Iran. Uh, the, the most yeah. who we I face to debate us is the Sunni. Is not really Shia. I wouldn't see them. Okay. I, okay, I just I it. found the reference. Um, uh, hold on. This is a, this is a Shia website. I don't know if you can see my screen. Wait. Okay. Hold on. You see the screen? Uh, one second. Yes, I'm looking at the screen. Yes. Nuru Thakaling. You see it? Um, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I في تفسير علي بن إبراهيم حدثني أتدر بلا 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 عن عن عبد الله عليه عليه السلام أنه قال المؤمن يزوج ثمان مائة عذراء وألف ثيب وزوجتين من الحور العين قلت جعلت في ذاك ثمان مائة عذراء قال نعم وما يفترش منهن شيء إلا وجدها كذلك okay so how many how many versions you as a Shia you get eight hundred versions and 1,000 women, they are not virgin. That's mean 1,800. And two women, they are from the whore. So what the total? The total is 1,802 women total. Do you see it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I see it, yes. I'm looking. And then here, if you go down, it's the same as the Sunni, but the number is different. It says, that each time those Hawra, each time you have sex with her, she uh, she turn uh, version again. <laughs> anyway, so and then she she would wear seventy uh, uh, clothes, uh, seventy like uh, uh, see through clothing, and her husband he see the the the, the marrow of her bones. This is exactly what the Sunni says too. You see, uh -oh. yeah. So you will see the marrow of the bones. This is exactly what the Sahih Bukhari says too. So Sunnah, Sunnah and Shia, they share many things. Uh, the, the, the the differences between them is not about those things. The difference is about Ali and Fatima and uh, who to follow who, you know, and what what, what is the, what is the important? Who is the family of the Prophet or the Prophet or you know? So if you go in details, they are really very close in those things, which is a crazy. So I'm happy for you. You will have eight hundred, uh, one thousand eight hundred, uh, and two women in the heaven. I mean, what do you want more? <laughs> Just remember us, like you know. Maybe you can send me five or ten <laughs> when you go there. <laughs> I want just uh, <laughs> just the uh, calmness, you know. I'm just so confused <laughs> right now. I uh, so <laughs> I don't know uh, what to believe and. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you, it's not, there's, there's no different really. I mean, both of them, they, they, there's no way this is can be true. I mean, you are smarter than this. Do you think really God but, will give uh, you a wait, wait, uh, What was the name of the, the tafsir? Uh, I haven't Nur uh, heard of it. Nur al Thaqalain. Nur al Thaqalain. Yeah. Uh, there's many. Those are, I know. Those, uh, those uh, are, uh, um, we, yeah, those are hadith. Those, uh, you see, this is the hadith. The hadith can be found in many books. But the, 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 the tafsir is, a, is a, you know, is a book collect many many hadith to explain something to you you know what i mean mm. the tafsir is not the source always the tafsir is not the source like you know uh you can find uh, uh al kafi you can find find in al kafi uh fi sahifa al rida etc you can find all those as a source you know? okay uh, like in, okay, the, so in, the, then, in the book uh, yeah. of Al Kafi, it says the same too. I mean, all of them they are the same, all is the same. So, are you really convinced that in the heaven you will have this? 
Isn't it, the, isn't it obvious that this is a lie? What does uh, Christianity then uh, teach? Like, what well, is they ask, uh, they ask Jesus, they ask Jesus, uh, what, what uh, the Jews, they always have an, uh, they're thinking that when you go to heaven, you will inherit whatever you have in earth because you're a good man. So Jesus said to them, uh, they, he and she, they will not get married. They will not have a marriage. They will be the same as angel, angels. So, that's what the Bible says. They not, they don't get married, and they will not get married. Why? Because simply they will be the same as angels. This is the house of God. This is the heaven. So the the, the heaven of Christianity is totally different from the heaven of Islam. There's no we cannot compare. And that makes sense because if God is holy, his house is holy. So how we will mm -hmm. be in the presence of God, in the house of God, and then we find ourselves doing nothing but uh, 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 it's like sex party. It's not even sex. It's not a sex with wife. It's sex with women who you don't even know. You never met. You know? Mm -hmm. and why, why is that? I mean, why, why in the world this God will create for me women I never met. Like now, when he says to you, 1,800 virgins and 1,000 women plus two from the whole. Okay, I never met any of them. So what is this for? And those people, those women did not choose me. They did not choose to have sex with me. And I, I did not choose them too. So this is just a, a, a you know, a, a pure sex. Is not, there's nothing there but sex. Hmm. If you, I don't know if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see there's tons of source about sexuality in Islam. Shia. I'm afraid to buy it, actually. <laughs> if I buy it, then someone sees the title, like... Yeah, uh, you, you, live in, you, live be, do you live in the Middle what, East? Do you live in the Middle East? Do you live in the Middle East? No. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you yeah, don't no. have to show it. You can you can rip off the, the cover. <laughs> like, uh, why did you choose that title? Like, uh, couldn't you... Like make it more uh, discreet, like yeah. Because this is the I topic. Did. I like, I like, I like to name my books exactly uh, straight. I don't like to be uh, uh, going in a circle. That's it. This is the book about sex and Allah. That's it. By mm -hmm. the way, uh, I, uh, about uh, the fig, uh, you said that uh, that uh, Allah uh, swears by the by the fig, right? Yeah. I, uh, I heard you uh, uh, saying that uh, sometimes. So. I looked up in uh, Shia Tafsir. They say that uh, Atin means al uh, al Hasan. Yeah, I know. And, uh, <laughs> al Zaytun means al Hussein. I mean, the, and, do, uh, do you see how, uh, how the Shia go crazy? Al Hussein <laughs> means uh, means Ali ibn Abi Talib. Right, right. guys. That was just to find. just to tell you what uh, what Hassan is saying. The Shia they explain this verse. This is chapter ninety five, verse number one, two, three, etc. It says. Allah swear by the fig and the olive. So they say that the fig is Al Hassan and the olive is Al Hussein and the Mount of Sinai is Ali <laughs> and the city of security isn't Muhammad, isn't it? <laughs> no, they say like uh, 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 al yeah. like uh, al -sirat al -musqim is uh, Ali. Also. Is Ali. That's yeah. what they what they say in Shia. The same. They they have. Uh, yeah. I mean. I mean, the Shia, they have a very crazy interpretation for anything. I mean, you how, know this? How in the you world, sure, this, yeah. Huh? How, how, in the, how in the world, you know, they, they come with this uh, fig is a, you know, uh, is a human being. I mean, it says, says fig. <laughs> Maybe it's just, uh, yeah, you know, uh, how do you, how do you call it in, uh, in a poetry like? Um, uh, majaz? I don't know, the, like the when shbih? you. The shbih? Yeah. You say uh, yeah, but you see, uh, okay, but fig, honey, for but example, fig, but fig is a, a honey or... fig, my friend. Fig is a symbolic of sin, never for something good. Even in the Bible, Jesus he cursed the fig tree. Even in the Old Testament, the Adam when he commits sin, he covered himself uh, by by. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it fig always come with with uh, with sin. So. In the Quran, suddenly the Muslim they made the fig. Allah swear by the fig, which is very weird. 
and then the Shia they come great further more they say that al fig is a Hassan and then the olive is a Hussein and the Mount of Sinai suddenly it became and by the way the name of in Arabic is really funny I mean what Torah Sinin what Torah Sinin? we do not know what 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 Sinin is what's in what is Sinin so we are, they are guessing saying this is the Mount of Sinai you know but not necessarily we do not know what is this uh, Sinin we don't know and about whether the whether the to like yeah. you said that was about uh an nafs or muadhaba, right? Yeah, this is not about uh about they, they, they and Shia <coughs> they say that is Al Hassan. Oh no no Al Al Hussein. Like they say uh, actually uh, uh correct uh, reading is Wa al Mawadda to Suilat as as I can remember something like that. Like that was the original reading, like yeah, well, like Al Mawad. Then you know, they say that is Al Al Hussein. Uh, I, I agree yeah. that in the in the Quran, there's many uh, uh, the Muslims are confused about the words, and sometimes there's a dot is appearing somewhere, changing the whole meaning. Uh, like you know, Hawar or Hur, it's the same word. Hawar is the same as Hur. Hamal or Jamal, <laughs> you, know, mm, yes. you know. Remember, the Quran was without dots, right? So how how yes. we how we can know? Even if you read it in the inside, it, it, you can you can replace the Jamal with Hamal. It's very easy, you know. Uh, you, you can replace the word Qala with Mala. <laughs> no, there are uh, there are uh, there are uh, seven. Uh, they say, yeah, but, uh, they but, say uh, seven, but, but I mean, there are many more actually. Yeah, you remember the story about the seven sleepers, and it says what Kalba home. Kaliahom, right? It is, say, it is Kali a home, not Kalba home. It is even in the Islamic tafsir, by the way. Some tafsir they say it was Kali a home. Some even the Muslim tafsir they say it is it's Kali a home. But by mistake, it appear as Kalba home, and now they say Kalba home, which means their dog. So the, there's tons of things in the Quran are messed up and the Shia agree with that the Shia are more honest when they speak about the Quran corruption and how the Quran changed uh, But the Shia They are not honest in the purpose of being honest They are not they are being honest to Support their agenda regarding Ali and his family. You know, what I mean mm, It's yeah. not because it's not because they, they are being honest in what happened. No it's because how they can sponsor their agenda about Ali and his family. So they refuse what is written in the Quran today because the same reason Muhammad, he refused the Bible what we have today because his name is not there. Yeah, they say, uh, oh, um, uh, uh, there is a, there's a Shia a Sheikh. Um, and he said that uh, uh, Hussein is uh, is mentioned in the in the New Testament. Like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, Hosanna. They really, really. I know, I know. On, There's uh, many videos. I, I saw. I saw. Trust me. Like uh, uh, Hosanna means you know, uh, Hussein actually, and they corrupted it. Like, let me, let me tell you. Know, let me tell you what the, I do for fun. Uh, for fun, when I want to laugh, honestly. I don't watch Muslim Sunni. I watch Muslim Shia Sheikh talking, Sheikh talking about anything. <laughs> Just put it for Shia with videos, and you will go crazy. Football. The football is about Al Hassan. The ball is about Al Hussein. The airplanes is about Al Hassan. The I mean everything is about Al Hassan. The satellite. The satellite is made for the sake of Al Hassan. The satellite. The whole world is made for the sake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Shia is the best comedy ever. Like they beat the Sunni for. I mean, the Sunni is nothing when it's come to the Shia. I know you are a Shia. I don't want to insult you. I'm just being honest with you. But it's really crazy. I know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know you, and you don't know me. So yeah, I don't. I don't care. You know. Okay. Yeah, nothing personal here. You know, we are just uh, sharing what we believe. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But yeah. <laughs> but you can yeah. do. All right, Hassan. Thank you for calling, my friend. And uh, feel free to call tomorrow if you want, or any any day you wish. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. But uh, can we then uh, go more in uh, detail, uh, especially on uh, on the Shia sources? Then sure, sure, next time, sure. like 
Sure, no problem. Just uh, Alkafi, uh, you know, because uh, I want to know uh, more uh, about it because there is uh, no one that uh, deals uh, with them, right? I'm not. Right. Uh, well, uh, uh, if, you, uh, if you if you if you promise me tomorrow you will come, uh, I will change the topic just to make it about Shia. Tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, don't worry about it. Don't promise. Just call me, All and right. then we will change the topic to make it about Shia. No problem. All right. All right. Just once, sir. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Anytime right. you wish. That doesn't Thanks. matter. Not once, twice. We can do it as many as you wish. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem, That's my friend. Good. Thank you very much for calling. Take care. Okay. Got it. Bye. 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 All right. <clears throat> well, I'm I'm uh, I'm glad that Mr. Hassan he called us. He's a nice uh, gentleman. You can tell. You know, by the way, right away, you can tell if a person is coming from a good family and if somebody is coming from a trashy, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, you they say you are what you eat. And here, what you eat is what your family around you, what they feed you. So you can tell that this gentleman is not is not a bad person. Uh, he's, a, he's a kind man. And he's trying just to find the truth, as simple as that. So he's welcome, really. Any time to call. Uh, but... Uh, as you see, uh, the, the Shia um, is not really too much, like they are too much far from the Sunni when it's come to the, the deep uh, in the religion. But the end is the same. Both they believe, believe in violence, both they believe in killing, and both they are willing to kill you for the sake of their God, who is whoever he is, their God is. If you go to Iraq right now and you insult Ali, you're dead, that's it. You, you, they will cut you pieces alive, you know? Uh, if you go to Iran and you do the same, if you go to uh, to uh, Saudi Arabia, you insult Muhammad, the, the, the same. So it is just they change the person who is the most important. Both, they have a different political agenda, but both of them believe that they are supreme. And both of them, they believe that they have the right to exist and the other one don't have the right to exist. Both of them believe in taqiyya, which means you can lie. It's okay to lie. Actually, you should lie. Both of them believe in the versions. Both of them believe that the non-Muslims are filthy. It's the same, but the difference is the the uh, who is their leader? Who is their uh, they follow who? Who is their best man? The the Sunni they follow Muhammad as leader supposedly, but then they took the side of uh, Muawiyah and the the the, the Amawiyin, uh, uh, Caliphate. Uh, Bani Umayyah and those they became their leaders. So the Sunni they consider themselves the Umayyad Caliphate people and the Shia they, be, they consider themselves they are the Ali Caliphate people and both in history they have war with each other and they actually uh, Ali and his children they've been slaughtered by the Sunni So Shia is simply those who believe that they are victims of the Sunni. That's why they hate them very much and this is why the Sunni, they hate the Shia very much. And now all the conflict we see in the Arabian Gulf between Iran, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Yemen, you name it, all of it is a Shia-Sunni conflict. Since 1400 years ago until now, they did not solve this conflict and they will never solve it. One of them have to erase the, that's the other one. And this is their target. One, one need to erase the other one. So who's going to erase who? And the Shia now, actually, they are growing by number, and many of the Muslim Sunni, they are converting to the Shiaism. And there is many reasons for uh, Sunni to convert to Shia. Uh, first, the Shia, uh, uh, they have many, uh, let us say, many appealing things for the Muslim Sunni to make them follow. Number one, uh, they follow the family of Muhammad. The Sunni, they follow the enemy of the family of Muhammad. Uh, the Shia, uh, during the last uh, 20, 30 years, they were fighting Israel. While the Sunni, they did not take fighting Israel as something serious. Their target was different. So the Shia, they were able to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to advertise themselves between the Muslim Sunni as they are the one who defend Jerusalem as a as a the Muslim city not Jerusalem the Jewish city so the Shia they present themselves through Hezbollah uh, Lebanon Hezbollah Iraq Hezbollah uh, Iran 
that those are the Hizb of Allah, the party of Allah. And this is what the Quran says. The name Hezbollah is not something created from uh, Google. This is coming from the Quran. In chapter 5, verse number 56, Hezbollah, Hum uh, al And this is the title of the Shia uh, militant groups. The same time, the Sunni, they have a big militant group. It's called Muslims Brotherhood. But Muslims Brotherhood themselves, they are under the control of the Shia. Uh, this is why, if you go right now and you listen to the news, you will find that Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, and Egypt, uh, four major Islamic countries, they are fighting the Muslim Brotherhood, while Iran sponsoring Muslims Brotherhood. So we can say that Muslim Brotherhood as a Sunni uh, party, in the deep inside, it's a Shia party. The appearance, it is a Sunni party. But the target, obviously, is under the control of the Shia. The first uh, center for the Shia, uh, sorry, for the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt was bought by uh, uh, the mullahs of Iran. You believe it? The first center, the first building for the Muslim Brotherhood was purchased by the Shia. And this is telling you the deep relationship between the Muslim Brotherhood as a party claimed to be Sunni and the Shia. And this is why you see that the Shia and the, and the Muslim Brotherhood, they are like uh, in, in the bed together. The appearance they are enemies, Sunni and Shia, but the fact the Muslim Brotherhood is not really Sunni. They, they uh, uh, let us say, they appreciate Shiaism very much because Shiaism is their their way to uh, uh, to reach uh, to take over to control money support etc <clears throat> uh, anyway so uh, i think we have enough for today uh, the video today will be long but if you guys would like to download it for free if not we will re we will move it uh, remove it after a few hours or maybe we will keep the conversation with the our friend here, the one Hassan, the one who called us. So I want to say thank you. Uh, and the Shia made Quds Day in Israel for Palestinian Sunni. The Shia, uh, this is you see, the Shia, they are smarter than the Sunni. The Shia, they knew how to fool others when it's come to appealing. But in fact, the Shia, they don't really want to fight Israel. As an example, you see, the Shia Iran, using the Shia Hezbollah in Lebanon to fight Israel. But the Shia Iran will never go in war with Israel. Why? So the Persian here, they control the Shia Arab and they use them for their agenda. So the appearance is Shiaism, but in fact, it is more than this. It is Iran as Persian expanding the empire again using Shiaism this time. So they are sending uh, teachers to Africa uh, because of the help of uh, Chafis, as an example, in Venezuela. The Shia now, they have villages of Shia immigrated from Lebanon, from Iran, and they live in Venezuela. They open stores, guys, stations. The vice president of Venezuela right now is a member of Hezbollah. So, uh, Shia, maybe it is a is a sect as religion, but it is nothing but a political movement seeking power and control. And they are controlling the drugs in this story. Uh, most of the income of Hezbollah is from uh, cocaine and heroin, same as the most income of Taliban of the Sunni. Most of the income of Afghanistan as Taliban is cocaine and heroin so they you know they have no limitation how far they can go it's a mafia mentality they are mafia but the appearance they are religion the appearance they are decent to grow beard 
and the appearance they are people who reject violence but if you go deep like you know there's a guy his name uh, Imam Tawhidi I don't know if you heard of him if you hear this guy you think that this guy is an angel but the book he read claiming that he reject the books which teach violence he's a hypocrite he's a liar because the Quran teach that and the Shia books teach that and the school he graduated from he, he teach that so what this guy is talking about but the Shia always they practice taqiyya it's like uh, their bread and breakfast taqiyya which means to lie for the purpose of your propaganda your agenda so he is willing to say anything you like to hear this is what Shia they do practice this is why I'm saying they are more successful from the Sunni the Sunni they lie but they cannot beat the Shia in their lies so Shia they go far beyond your imagination when they lie they are willing even to deny their religion just for the sake of their propaganda it's called taqiyya and it's lawful for him to do it so they will say to you anything you like to hear anything whatever it is if you say to them if you say to them the sky is uh, is uh, is yellow they will say the sky is yellow whatever will make you happy it's red it's red you are against terrorism we are against terrorism but the fact the first suicide bomber in the Middle East was from Hezbollah was not a Sunni this is the truth the first suicide bomber in the whole Middle East was a Shia from Hezbollah and after that all Islamic Sunni they are copying the Shia everything you see around you from terrorism why why after the revolution of Iran the Muslim Sunni they start making uh, militant groups because they look at the Shia how they were successful to have their own state and the Shia they sponsor other Muslim Sunni to have their own states so they will not be alone as Islamic State so they would be target of the whole world and this is why you see uh, in the beginning from the beginning the Shia they sponsor the Muslims Brotherhood but then the Muslim Brotherhood they turn to be uh, they give more babies like Al-Qaeda and like Isis and then Isis they cause a problem for the Shia so look what they do they sponsor evil and then evil come back to them the same as America America in the beginning they sponsored the evil of Al-Qaeda and even Osama bin Laden he was called in certain time in America as a hero hero he's a hero you know in New York Times you will see it the article uh, the CIA they go and train them and they give them weapon and then Al-Qaeda, they returned the favor to America by doing 9-11. So when you sponsor evil, you will always evil come back to you. And we should learn from history. Otherwise, we are a bunch of fools. Never, ever sponsor evil because it's going to come back to you. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you maybe tomorrow again, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you very much. Take care.